This is High School Football on Bear Country 95.3. Jeff Terrell and Sean Hubert here in the Albert B. Allen Insurance Broadcast booth at Frontier Regional. Dave Reno is at our Greenfield Studios on Woodard Road. Another Friday night of football, but not any other Friday night of football. The postseason has arrived. Sean, Western Mass Division 7 semifinals. The second-seeded Frontier Red Hawks hosting the number three Tigers of South Hadley. Winner plays for a Western Mass title next weekend. The postseason is here, and we're ready. You know it's a big game. Look at the band. They're all dressed up in their uh, the dress clothes, and the, the Hawk is here. That's probably the smartest guy in the, in the building right there. <laughs> Just that, warm, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, nice in that thing. But, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, this is always a great environment for football. I mean, any week. But, yeah, when you start the playoffs, and... You, for Frontier, the last couple seasons have really been derailed by injuries, and they've had some strong seasons, and then right at the tail end, I know last year it was Gawanter and Landry, and, and they guys, those guys were all banged up, and then they got to beat up pretty good in the first round of the playoffs, and well, that's happened to them now a couple, three years in a row. So uh, these guys are healthy, and, and we'll talk about the numbers and what they've done all year long, but, you know, Aaron Landry and Stephen Worthley, we're going to see those guys run the ball like they do, but the X factor to me actually could be Bryce Dobis. We saw him last week. Now, he got hurt week one, had a big week, yeah. and uh, was kind of irrelevant for a while. They started to use him as a blocking back. He's got fresh legs, and he looked pretty good. I would not be surprised to see Bryce Dobis be a big factor in this one, too. It's amazing uh, all the options that Frontier has to go to with the rushing attack. Seth Hadley, a similar type offense. They haven't put up quite the numbers, obviously, that Frontier has. Almost no team has put up those kind of numbers. Again, we'll get to those in just a bit, but again, Short, um, uh, one misstep for Frontier early on, that overtime loss at Greenfield. Other than that, they ran the table. South Hadley got off to a little bit of a slow start, but they are peaking at the perfect time. I know Frontier got the home game this year, but this is not going to be an easy victory by any stretch, we don't think. No, no, not at all. And Frontier comes in riding a six-game winning streak. They're 5-0 and at home this year, so they're right where they want to be. And uh, you look at South Hadley's season, and actually, I mean, these guys come in on a four-game winning streak, but they had to. They started the season one and three. They lost their first two games. So to be sitting in the playoffs after losing your first two games of the season, I mean, that's just amazing. They finally beat Putnam in week three. Then they lost in week four. So, again, they had to whip off four straight weeks, which they did. Scored 34 against Chicopee last week. They only gave up six points. They beat Taconic 29-20. They beat Pittsfield. That's a tough Pittsfield team, 34-32. Uh, and they beat Commerce 40 to nothing in a shutout. So a team it going in the right direction now. Which South Hadley team are we going to get tonight? The passing team, the running team, a little bit of both? They can attack in different ways, too. It should be a great matchup. Winner gets the winner of the other side of the bracket. Number one, Wakona, the defending Western Mass champions. They knocked out Frontier in the first round last year. They are at home tonight against number four Palmer. So the winner of that game will play the winner of this game next weekend. Uh, site, time, date, all that to be determined. Should be a great game bill here tonight. We're getting close to kickoff. We'll take a timeout here in our pregame show. We'll come back, go inside the matchups, and take a look at the non-qualifier games happening. A lot of really good matchups. Not tournament, but big games nonetheless. We'll talk about that as well as the pregame rolls on here from South Deerfield on Bear Country. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by... Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you. In Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont. Or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. We continue on our pregame show, Countdown to Kickoff in South Deerfield. Frontier, South Hadley, Western Mass Division 7 semifinals. Again, the other semifinal happening tonight, Wakona Palmer. Winner of that game will play the winner of this one next weekend. Funny when you mentioned that, too. I was looking back. Remember right back, we were doing all kinds of playoff games. It seemed like South Hadley was there all the time. You know, yes. like we, never, we didn't see them. We were, were broadcasting them, but they were always around. And I forgot, in 2012, they lost at Gillette Stadium to Wakona. 24-21. So uh, yeah. that's on their radar for sure as they look at this game and try to get to Wakona and get back to a, a championship game. 
Well, certainly they play a very tough schedule. Actually, let's talk about the Tigers first. I know a lot of the local fans listening, they are at least a little bit aware, if not very aware, of the Frontier personnel. We'll get to them in a minute, but the South Hadley Tiger team, as you mentioned, a little bit of a slow start. They've been on a roll lately. They don't have quite the statistical numbers, but they have some offensive weaponry, uh, and, and it's a pretty good mix of uh, ground game and passing. Yeah, and, it, and it's interesting, too, because as I'm looking at the numbers for the season, uh, Liam Dawson, he'll, he's, the, he's the main guy out of the backfield. Uh, so compare him to, say, Aaron Landry with 115 carries. He's got 86 carries on the season. So fewer carries, 609 yards, averages seven yards a carry. So that, that's pretty darn good right there. And he's got 14 touchdowns. Uh, we just had mentioned we were going to get back to Frontier, but both Landry um, and Worthley have 15 touchdowns each. So just to put it into perspective, <laughs> uh, this kid's got 14, yeah. Hunter Carey, 194 yards on this season coming in. Ben Watkins, 172. Uh, Hunter Borowski, 157 yards. But when you dig down into the numbers, what you find is when they throw the ball, these are the guys catching the ball too. So there really isn't like a big tight end to look for that they generally throw to or, you know, some of their guys sneak out of the back. It's all the backs that are just going to be going in different directions, misdirection, and then yep. they're going to try to throw to these guys out of the backfield too. So again, uh, it seems like the offense can catch you sleeping on a play and you can give up a long touchdown. Yeah, we'll definitely have to keep an eye on that quarterback, Michael Pratt, because he can get it done. He may play a big factor in tonight's game, even more than a usual quarterback would do. Look on the other side, though, the numbers for the Frontier Red Hawks. I mean, it is amazing what they've been able to do this year. Uh, again, yeah, we've chronicled the games as we've gone along. We've seen Frontier, what, five, four, five times this season. Yes. Uh, been a true pleasure to watch. And, you know, and again, we know what they're going to come out and do. They're going to take Landry. They're going to take Worthley. They're going to take... Uh, they're going to use uh, the other guy, their uh, Dobis, to block. And they're going to try to run inside the tackle. So they're going to try to you know, run those plays that are the easy six, seven, eight yard game. Well, they make them easy. They're not easy, but they make them easy. If South Hadley can stop that, then obviously they're going to have to try to get to the outside. They're not going to throw the ball an awful lot. They haven't thrown the ball more than six times in the last six games. So this isn't an offense that you're going to depend on the passing game at all. Although they'll just sneak one in every once in a while. Sure. It's going to be on the ground. And again, depending on South Hadley, the first couple drives are really going to tell me a lot about the direction that this game might go. We're getting very close to the opening kickoff. The teams now are going to be meeting at the uh, center of the field for the opening coin toss. We'll take a timeout here. We'll come back. We'll run down the other matchups happening tonight, the non-qualifier games. This is the lone tournament game involving a local team. So we'll run down those matchups. National Anthem opening kickoff. South Hadley Frontier next. Bear Country 95.3. Captains will now meet at midfield for the Tigers. Number 19, Marcus Larrier. Number 21, Liam Dawson. Number 18, Michael Pratt. Number 60, Matthew Lowry. And for the Red Hawks, number seven, Matt Hildreth. Number 28, Aaron Landry. Number 29, Stephen Worthley. And number 79, Matt Carlson. South Hadley won the toss, we'll defer. Frontier will receive the opening kickoff. time we ask everyone to please rise and remove your caps as the Frontier Regional Band honors America by playing our national anthem.
was fantastic. Nice job by the Frontier Regional Marching Band, and yeah, they are definitely have us all ready for tonight's game here. Other games involving local teams, again, these are non-qualifier games. A six o'clock kickoff over at Vets Field in Greenfield. Pioneer Greenfield, 16-7 Green Wave. R.J. Bird is back, two carries for 72 yards. That young man can get it done. We were talking about it off air, and I was given the nod to Pioneer on that one, just based on uh, recent performance, but R.J. with a couple of carries, sounds like he's getting healthy, and that's certainly gonna be big for uh, Greenfield coming up here on Turkey Day against Turner's Falls. Speaking of Turner's Falls, they are home tonight against Mohawk. Mahar is at Ludlow tonight, and Belchertown is at Athol. Franklin Tech is at Smith Volk. These are all games tonight. No Saturday action this weekend. All right, we are set for action here. Again, winner goes to the Western Mass title game next weekend. South Hadley, the visiting white jerseys with the Gray pants and black and orange helmets. Playoff crowd, listen to them. Yes, they are ready. Frontier in their home. Crimson red jerseys with the navy blue pants and helmets. South Hadley set to kick from the right side, the north end from the 40. High end over end kick. Chasing the deep man back to the five. Left hash mark out across the 25 yard line and Landry up across, uh, well, close to the 30-yard line. First down and 10 for Frontier from there. 11 minute quarters here in high school football. So 44 minutes at least to settle this one. Big kick right there. That thing was just a high arcing kick. Chase Landry all the way back to inside his five-yard line. And nice job by Aaron just to get ahead of speed and good starting field position for the Hawks at their own 29. First down and 10, moving left to right here in the opening quarter, and the handoff goes over right tackle. Steve Wordley, number 29, brings it up to around the 35-yard line, maybe just shot uh, right on the 35-yard line, give a gain of about five second down. Well, right there, that's exactly what we were just talking about in the pregame show, that play that they run so well. Wordley, over 1,000 yards, 1,021 last week. And the handoff this time will go to Landry on the right side. Got a big hit, that is Wordley actually. Steve has the first down. Got a little shove out of bounds at the very end of the play, but he brought it right around to South Hadley territory at the 49 yard line. We were talking about the yards per carry average. So Aaron Landry, 115 carries, 1,126 yards, 9.79 yards per average. That's amazing. Worthley, 8.23 yards. In this game, two carries, 20 yards. So right there. Hildreth under center, the inside give now to Aaron Landry. Breaks through the tackle, he's got a first down and more left side. Inside the 30, to the 20, 15, to the 10, towards the end zone. Is he in? Touchdown! 50 yard touchdown run by Aaron Landry. And just like that, six nothing Red Hawks. All right, three carries, 70 yards for Aaron. I mean, for Stephen Woodley and Aaron Landry combined. And Again, we talked about it. That's the play that South Hadley knows is going to come right at him. They couldn't stop it. It was just too fast. 50 yards into the end zone. One of the South Hadley defenders actually did get to him, but Aaron did a good job of just getting through that and took it to the house. A low snap. Wordley gets the ball down. The kick is up. And against all odds, it is good. Great job by Wordley taking that bad snap and getting it down. We'll take a timeout. 10 on 9 to play here in the opening quarter. And our score on the conquest of Greenfield, South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard, Frontier 7, South Hadley nothing. And the kickoff coming down along the sideline. Frontier nearly recovered it. Landry was down there, but he was out of bounds. And it will go to the Tigers. Well, if you can visualize the way that that ball was kicked, it was really perfect because it went straight up and it hung. And it was coming down right around the 30 yard line. And that was a wide open space. And it was a foot race to the ball. Boy, it did look like the Red Hawks might have got that, but. Yeah, the officials are talking yeah, right now. Yeah, this guy on this side thought he was out of bounds. I thought he got the ball, and now, yeah, they're gonna pull the guys in and uh, have a little conference. This could be frontier ball. That was a great kick and a great play, and now we'll see if they say he was out of bounds. Oh, illegal touch. No, it was offside. Yeah. No, no hold on, there was a, apparently there was a flag that was not 
We didn't detect. Yeah, it, was on, it was on the Red Hawks. The infraction was on the Red Hawks. They're, yeah, they're not going to get the football here. So they weren't even talking about the possession. They were talking about a penalty, apparently. So the ball spotted right now at the 20. Now they're marching that against so against Frontier. Uh, now against Frontier out to the 27. There we go. And that is where they will take over for their opening possession. First down and 10. Quarterback Michael Pratt out of the shotgun formation. In motion to the right is Marcus Larrier. First down and 10. Give on the right side goes to Hunter Carey. Not a lot there. Took it on the right side then tried to go back to the left. Maybe a gain of two to the 30. It'll be second down. Now I want to check that. Ben that was Watkins Ben Watkins, down. not Hunter Carey. Ben Watkins, number 10. A couple yards Three, there for Watkins. As we said, we're going to see Carey for sure. Borowski will have some touches. Liam Dawson will probably get the majority of the touches as he has most of the season. Michael Pratt joins the huddle. Off on the right side, Austin Robinette. Near side on the left side is Liam Dawson. He will come in motion. He'll take the pitch on the right side. His first carry, he's quick. Wow, to the outside, yeah. first down. Stumbles across the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down, and Sean, he's fast. You know, you can just, you can just see it. You can see the, the quickness gene, and that kid certainly has it going around the outside. And Frontier's usually good at sealing off that, that, that play that's trying to run end-to-end, -end and he just got uh, tried to get to him. But, yeah, he turned the corner quick, and 10 yards later, that's an effective play right there. Ball's on the 43-yard line of South Hadley. Again, they're moving right to left here. They trail 7 to nothing after the 50-yard touchdown run by Aaron Landry. First down and 10. Out of the shotgun formation. Hunter Carey comes in motion. He will take it over to the left side. Got hit right at the line of scrimmage. Was able to bring it across the 45 to the 46. Second down. Yeah, they're going to mark up that. So you can about... Uh, well, a little further than it looks, four yards on the carry. So, yeah, so far we've seen three out of the four guys out of the backfield with a touch. Dawson Carey and Watkins. Now, we talked about the quarterback. He does not throw the ball an awful lot. As a matter of fact, last week, not a single pass attempt in that win. Then they go shotgun, running backs to either side. Carey comes in motion, but instead to the outside. It is going to be Dawson, short of a first down. Did bring it to midfield, and then he got kind of driven back from there. Third and short coming up. Yeah, that was a great tackle there by that Kirkendall, 34 in the middle? Yep. Yeah, he came up, and I mean, again, with remember that Patala tackle we talked about a couple weeks ago that saved a two-point conversion try? That was a very similar, you could tell that kid has been taught how to tackle property. Leverage, squares his shoulders. Running back comes right into him, and then the running back goes backwards, not him. Good tackle, but third and short here for South Adley. Ball is on the Frontier 49-yard line. They need to get to the 47 to keep it going. Third down and short. We got a pistol formation. Pitch to the right side. Great Frontier tackle. Oh, he might have got there. And he may have got there before he was able to make the first down. It was Dawson on the, t on the carry. Let's see. Oh, you got a good spot. So that will be a first and 10 for the Tigers. You know, and again, with a kid like that, he's going so quickly, and then if you don't take the body, the legs, they took the legs, and he was able to just kind of fall forward an extra two yards. So, I mean, the tackle technically was made short of the line to gain, but he absolutely got there. So first down for South Hadley. 7.08 to play here in the opening quarter. Frontier seven, South Hadley nothing. Dawson is in a slot left. Handoff right up the middle, a big hole, and I believe that was Ben Watkins. We'll see who Still comes going. up. Yeah, Watkins. Watkins on the carry. And did get, Ben, well, they're going to march him back a little bit, but got close to first down yardage, second down and short. You know, every once in a while, you can see at the snap of the ball, Connection just a millisecond where one team is getting a jump a little bit quicker. South Hadley had the jump on that. I mean, they just got off the ball so quickly, and that just opened that hole right up in front of Watkins for him to... Run through, yeah, they're gonna mark it back him about seven yards on the carry. 39 yard line of Frontier, second down and about two or three here. Shotgun formation, quarterback draw up the middle, short of the first down, Frontier came up. Nice surge there, Garrett DeForest on the hit. It'll be third down. Not, uh, not a, a really running uh, a category type quarterback is Pratt. He'll have a few scrambles. But for the most part, it doesn't look like they run him an awful lot. They tried it there and unsuccessful. Got about a yard, so. 
But the Forest was able to snuff that out. Third down and a long one or a short two. 5.50 to play first quarter. Frontier on Landry's 50-yard touchdown run leads it seven to nothing. Shotgun, formation. And the give on the right side. That's gonna go for the first down. They keep the drive going. Dawson took it around right in, down to the Frontier 35-yard line. Yeah, and you can see Dawson was running right through the middle of the football field. Of course, we've had a lot of rain here in the last little bit, and this field is in really good condition considering the time of the year. But right there in the middle, you can see where it's kind of muddy, and that's gonna be a slick track. You can see him trying to cotton. Uh, ankle just came right out from under him, but still enough for the first down again for South Hadley. So very methodical drive. Dawson leads the way with four carries and 20 yards. Another tackle, by the way, by Garrett DeForest, making his presence known on the defensive side. Pistol formation, little pitch to the right side, and that is gonna go for a big gainer on the right side. Hunter Borowski with his first carry, and that should be good for a first down, uh, at least close. Yeah, I think he uh, might be a little bit shy. We'll give him nine, we'll see if they uh, pull out the chains, but, you know, this is very much what South Hadley's been doing all season long. And again, they come in on a four game winning streak where they've outscored their opponents by quite a bit. So we know they can score. The Red Hawks, a little susceptible on defense this season. They've had some games where they've given up quite a few points, 34 to Maher. Of course, they scored 56 on their own, but they will give up some points. Second down and short. And over the right no. side, that's gonna go for no game. Ben Watkins got hit. And it's going to be third down and one. He didn't get hit. He ran into a truck, man. That was, yeah, Matt Carlson. Six feet tall, 250 pounds. Oh, wait a minute. He got a pretty good spot. We're going to call a timeout. I think they're going to uh, bring the chain. Uh, I, I didn't think he... I don't either. Yeah. No. I'm a little surprised here, but they want to be sure. I thought Frontier uh, easily stopped him. Do you happen to catch that in the Patriots game last week where uh, Bill Belichick had asked for a... Oh, right, yeah. When it clearly wasn't even close. You know, this is closer. This is going to be, a, they're going to say a few inches from here. We thought they were short, but uh, he, he asked for that. And it was a position where it just gave his guys a, a minute, a breather. And yeah. just, hey, you know, take a second here and think about what you want to do on this third and short coming up. And yeah, he's kind of a smart coach, I've noticed, I've over, heard, the, over I, the last I've 17 years. He, but yeah. that Garoppolo move, terrible, terrible, terrible move. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have a backup quarterback. Well, history might show that <laughs> uh, it was a terrible move. We yeah, just don't know yet. It doesn't happen very often. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, third down and short. The ball just outside the 20-yard line. Pistol formation. High oh, snap flag, yep, motion. let's see. I think it's going to go against the Tigers and it will. You could tell, yeah, just a little disjointed there and then a high snap. First penalty of the game against South Hadley, so each team penalized just for five yards, one flag each. That brings the ball back to the 30 yard line. They need to get just inside the 25 to keep it going. So third down at about four. And obviously four down territory here for South Hadley, so yep. don't have to Get the whole thing here. Give yourself a nice, easy fourth and one. You'll be okay, too. Third down, not the snap. They're going to go to Dawson on the right side. Cuts it back inside, leans Dawson forward, short Gary. of the first down, but it's going to be fourth down and short. Might have got there. Now, this one looks to me like he got there. Let's see. It's the same uh, angle. It's the same. Uh, let's see. They haven't indicated yet. It's close. Oh, you're going to have to measure this one, yeah. Yeah, they are going to bring the, the uh, chains out yet again. I, you know, I just the, the, the eyeball test told me that he got that first down. I thought he was short on the last one. He was a little bit, but this one here. And he's right around the 24-yard line. That's re really about where he needed to get. All right, they bring the chain out. Those chain guys are getting a workout already, huh? Yeah. Got it by just the nose of the football. Wow. First down, South Hadley. I got these glasses that I wear, and sometimes they work pretty good. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're looking at it from an angle. Here, another so. uh, another first down for the Tigers. So, again, this is just a, a good answer to the opening drive for Frontier, which was three, four plays and 70 yards, and we have a timeout taken by Frontier. 3.32 to play here in the first quarter, and on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard, it's Frontier 7, South Hadley nothing. And we're back here in the Albert B. Allen Insurance broadcast booth. Frontier Regional, Western Mass Division 7, semi-final. Frontier, the two seed. South Hadley, the three seed. Frontier leading seven to nothing. First down and 10, South Hadley at the Frontier 24-yard line. There you go, shotgun. 
Two receivers in the near side left. And the pitch, and out there now is Carey with some blockers, cuts it back for a little spin move. And he brings the ball down to around the 20 yard line. Nice job there by Hunter Carey. Nice spin move at the end, and then took a shot on the leg, got spun around a little bit at the end of that. And yeah, actually, he's going to come off the field. He, you know, he took a shot somewhere around the knee area. It looked like they uh, kind of spun around a little bit at the end of that play, but they're going to give him nine yards on the carry, so 13 yards now on two carries for Hunter. Just a sophomore, Hunter Carey. He'll stay sophomore, that is true. 2.57 left to play in the quarter. Frontier leads by seven. Watkins comes in motion. Inside give, though, and that's going to go to Hunter Borowski. And Hunter just with a short game, but let's enough see. Yeah, you got down. enough for the first down, yeah? You know, if you were judging this game on time of possession, Frontier is doing terribly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take the opening kick four plays later into the end zone. 70 yards, 50 by Aaron Landry on the touchdown run. Worthley had three carries for 20 yards, and that didn't take him very long at all. Now South Hadley has taken the ball, and again, methodical is the word you got to use for this drive. It's uh, they haven't gotten themselves in trouble. They had the one penalty, no big mistakes, and now they're primed to try to tie this thing up. 12-yard line of Frontier, first down and 10. Coming out of the two-minute mark, Watkins comes in motion to the right. Back to pass is Pratt, looking to the right, flushed out of the pocket, rolling to the right, and he's bounds. gonna throw it out of bounds all the way over to the track. <laughs> someone's, gonna, second down. someone's gonna have to go get that. And it's gonna be the <laughs> official. <laughs> he didn't have to throw it that far. Uh, you know, he got flushed to the right, and there was just nothing. He was looking in the end zone, Good coverage by the defensive backs and the smart play there from the young quarterback that dumped that out of bounds. He tried to hit that big pine tree over there. Yeah, he threw it way out of bounds. Yeah, way, way. Well, he made sure he was not going to underthrow that. Well, you're right, Sean. I mean, you have a really good drive going. You're in the red zone. The last thing you need is a pick trying to force it where it doesn't belong. And we don't expect him to throw the ball an awful lot. So he tried and he didn't get there, and that was a smart play. Second down and 10 from the 12-yard line. Pitch on the right side, goes to Dawson. Frontier goes through, they miss tackles though. Flag comes in at the very end of the play after a gain of about eight. Now we'll see about that flag. You don't see bad tackling too often from the Red Hawk defense. And let's see what the call is gonna be. Wow, that's a big call against That's a hold there. against the Tigers and that's going to eliminate a nine yard gain. Instead, we're gonna go 10 the other way. Yeah, so yeah, right, 19 yards on that swing and also momentum lost on that swing now. So it's gonna be second down and 20 instead of uh, second down and getting closer to the goal line. You can still get a first down before getting a touchdown, but Second and 20 for South Hadley. I'm going to bring the ball out to the 23 yard line now. So we'll see. The drive has been so positive so far. Let's see if they can get back in the swing here. Watkins and Robinette to the far side right. Slot left is Borowski. And now the quarterback looks over at his bench. They're going to change up here. Comes in motion. Pitch. On the right side is Borowski. Not a lot there. Good job of stringing that out by the Red Hawks. Maybe a gain of a few couple yards. Yeah, actually shorter than it looked. Maybe, yep. maybe three on that carry. So 15 yards now for Hunter Borowski. Three carries for him. It is Liam Dawson leading the way. Five carries and 25 yards on this opening drive. Exactly one minute to play here in the quarter. Frontier seven, South Hadley nothing. Receiver split to the either side. The lone back is Hunter Borowski. They fake the pitch. They're setting up a screen play. Overthrow, no, that just did not come together at all. It'll be third and long. You know, it looked like it wasn't going to come together. In the end, it still could have. I mean, the ball was just delivered. It floated. Now, it's pretty breezy right now, and I'm not sure down on the field. I'm looking at the soccer net yeah. at the back of the end zone, and you can see the, I mean, that thing's got holes in it, and you can see the airflow uh, heading through that. So that wind did affect that pass. It sailed a little bit. The screen was there. Receiver was open, but ball sailed just slightly. So that'll bring about fourth down and 17. They need to get down to the three for the first down. So they're right around the 20 yard line. All right, here we go. Fourth and 17 from the 20. Shotgun formation. Pratt, straight drop. 
airs it out, loops it into the end zone, right side, overthrown. The intended receiver down there was Hunter Carey, and the Tigers' promising drive is over. You know, I don't even know that that ball was overthrown. I think Carey just kind of got screened there. He was trying to get to that spot, and the defender running side by side with him slowed him down just enough so he couldn't get, the ball was delivered where it wanted to be, and exactly when it wanted to be there, it was just the receiver got bumped and couldn't get there, so a good defensive play there. And the Red Hawks, after a long South Hadley drive, they ate up most of that quarter. From the 20 yard line, first down and 10. And Wordley is getting oh, they ripped it out. The ball is they free, it out. and it's gonna go in for a touchdown. Marcus Larrier rips it out, scores the touchdown, it's seven to six. You could see it, Landry got stood up, and the play was not whistled dead, nor should it have been, because he was still driving forward, but there were three guys for South Hadley, and you could see him trying to rip that thing out. I don't even know if it hit the air. I think he just grabbed it, took it out of his arms, and ran into the end zone. That's exactly what he did. Marcus Larrier takes it all the way in for the touchdown. And now South Hadley is a PAT kick away from tying this football game. I think the only other time I ever saw that was Scotty Mitchell in that playoff game. Remember? Yeah, that's right. They were getting a hand it to him. It was late, and Scotty just stole the ball from the running back and ran it in for a touchdown late in the game. And very similar play there. Again, hey, very aggressive. Uh, it's a game of strength and will. and. Uh, Landry does not put the ball on the ground very often, but that was ripped out of his arms. All right, South Hadley will kick for the conversion here. Snap back, placement down, the kick is up. The kick is good, but there was a flag on the play. Offside frontier, so that'll obviously be declined. Timeout on the field, 24.5 seconds left first quarter. Our score on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. We are tied at seven. High end over and kick. Landry at his 10. Takes it left hash mark across the 20. And up to a, well, close to the 30 yard line. And the Red Hawks will take over. First down and 10. The game now tied at seven. You know, so uh, South Hadley ends up getting the touchdown, just not the way it looked that they were going to get. You know, and again, it is pretty amazing. So, I get it. Just a recap, if you just tuned in, Frontier won the toss, decided to receive, and Stephen Wortley ran the ball three times for 20 yards, which was good, but then Aaron Landry ran it one time for 50 yards and into the end zone, so that was better. 70 yards for a play. South Hadley ate up that whole quarter with a drive that Frontier stopped, but South Hadley still wanted that touchdown, and they ripped the ball out of Landry's arms. 28-yard line. First down and 10. First down carry on the left side. Aaron Landry uh, across the 30, up close to the 35 yard line. Second down coming up. Well, we've seen Landry score touchdowns in bunches. We've seen him get yards in bunches. And I don't remember him fumbling the football this season. Now, maybe he has, but timeout on the field taken by Frontier. Oh, I'm sorry, end of the quarter. End of the first quarter here in South Deerfield and our score on the car quest of Greenfield. South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard were tied at seven. Second quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3. Jeff Terrell, Sean Hubert back here in the Albert B. Allen Insurance broadcast booth. Frontier Regional tied at seven at the end of one. Frontier with an offensive touchdown. South Hadley with a defensive touchdown after having a very impressive drive. Peter out in the red zone. And now Frontier has it second down and four. The ball spotted on their own 34 yard line. Moving now right to left here in the second quarter. Inside give is going to go to Bryce Dobis, just shy nice of the first down by carry. not by much. It'll be third down and probably less than the yard. Yeah, so the first carry there for Dobis. Actually, they're going to, yeah, they're going to give him the first down. No, they're going to, hold on. Yep, yep they the did. There down. we go. All right, so Dobis a carry there for five yards. And again, we talked about him at the top of the show. Worthley with the first three carries. Landry a couple of carries now. And Bryce Dobis, fresh legs, healthy. First carry of the game for him. Give him five yards, got a first down. Hildreth, the pitch. Lowering the shoulder, doing a good job there was Aaron Landry, gets spun out of bounds. Right around the 45 yard line, second down coming up. Yeah, he got spun out of bounds by uh, Marcus Larry, or that was the guy that just ripped the ball out of his hands and ran it into the end zone. I don't think he wanted to meet him again quite so yeah, soon. Look, at, look how solid Larry is. Yeah, you can, yeah you, if you look up football player, that's yeah. the picture that you see right there. And he just, he just looks like a tough, yeah, tough guy. Yeah, strong, big, and uh, and uh, pretty quick too. 
Second down and four. Landry again, uses a stiff arm, gets the first down, tiptoes along the sideline into South Haven territory down to the 40 yard line. Yeah, again, this is such a tough offense to stop when you've got guys like Landry who are so quick. And again, the instincts that he has, you know, the, just he knows uh, he, the vision that he has when he's running and he's so quick to get to where he wants to be. And let's see, 56, 66, 72 yards now. Four carries for Aaron Landry. We're a minute into the second quarter here, tied at seven. Winner gets probably Wakona, but Palmer's the number four seed. We'll probably, see. probably. Probably the Warriors. That double handoff. Now it's Steve Wordley on the right side. He brings it from the 42 down to the 40. So just a short gain there. And it'll be second down. We were talking about Aaron Landry and a thousand yard season this year. Had a thousand yard season last year. I thought Seth Gawanter got to a thousand last year, but Dave Blanchett's up here and uh, he is pretty sure that he did not. It would have been, uh, I don't know that I have ever seen a kid run for a thousand yards back to back seasons and have a teammate do it as well. Obviously Landry and Worthley have done it this year. Flag, Flag on the play, Flag. and the handoff goes to Bryce Dobis, who jumped over a would-be tackler, then got stopped after a gain of about three, but we'll see about the... Uh, second one against uh, Frontier, I believe. Yeah, it looks like they are going to march it back against the Hawks, or no, offside against the Tigers, so that'll be a five-yard penalty. And instead of second and nine, it'll be second and four. Well, I already wrote that down, and I use a pen. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's... Uh, 20 yards and penalties now against South Hadley. That was the third flag in uh, Frontier. Just penalized the one time for five yards. Second down. And it's going to go to Steve Worley on the right side. Squirts through and very close at the first down. We'll see about the spot. Yeah, again, that's what you say, squirts through. But then at the end of that, he gets the extra couple yards. And it's going to make it a more manageable third down here. Third and about three. Third and about three. The ball right around the 32, 33 yard line of South Hadley. Early second quarter. We're tied at seven. Each team scoring in the first frontier offensively and South Hadley defensively. Now players jumping and yeah. some frontier Red Hawks flinched too. Frontier is saying. I'm going to write this one down. Yeah, it is. It is against the Hawks. All right, so I could have just left it. I didn't. I had to. There we go. Well, I wish fans, I, I wish you fans listening could see Sean's board, his yeah. stat sheet when he's done after a game, especially a oh. game where there's been a lot of scoring. It looks like a botched calculus. Uh, it's terrible. It's in the <laughs> numbers and the letters and then, uh, yeah. You but you're, you're still somehow able to decipher it. I, I get pretty close yeah. most of the time, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it is hard to read one's own writing. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now... Frontier got benefited with a five yard penalty, now one against them, and now a timeout called on the field. And that is going to be taken by, it looks like South Hadley. 8.13 to play here in the first half and on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. We are tied at seven, back after this on Bear Country. Back here on the Albert B. Allen Insurance Broadcast booth at last check, Greenfield Pioneer. That was an early start, 6 o'clock, Greenfield 16, and Pioneer 7. And Sean, you have an update, Turner's at home against Mohawk. Yeah, my friend Doug Brown just shot me a quick email, 6 nothing. Turner's Falls right now. We'll get, we'll get the uh, specifics on that, but Turner's Falls does score first and takes the 6 nothing lead in the first quarter. Third down and seven for the Red Hawks at around the 38-yard line. And they're going to take it on the right side. Hildreth himself, a flag comes in late, takes off on the right sideline, and he's got a first down all the way down inside the 10, but it's coming all the way back. That's a shame, and you could see that play developing in front of him, and I don't know if that hold really was necessary. I think he still would have got around the corner, and uh, it's going to march him back 10 and uh, erase a huge run. Hildreth is not going to run the ball very often. They do run that play for him a couple times a game when they see the outside open, and he's pretty quick. And that would have got him down inside the 10-yard line, but the hold on the play marches it all the way back, almost to the 50, put it at the 47-yard line. Yeah, 47, and they need to get uh, down around close to the 30-yard line to get the first. Yeah, that one hurts a little bit. Yeah, take timeout and regroup, I think, a little yeah, bit. Frontier's going to call a timeout. It will not be a full timeout, however, so we will keep it right here. Next weekend's broadcast plans. Well, it depends on what happens tonight. If Frontier wins here, obviously, we'll be broadcasting the Western Mass title game. I believe it'll be next Friday night, but we don't know when. 
and we don't know exactly where. They haven't posted that yet. If Frontier loses, they'll fall back in with the other non-qualifiers, and then it'll depend on the matchup. We may have a Frontier game, we have a Turner's game, maybe Mohawk, maybe Greenfield, maybe Pioneer. We'll just have to let you know. I won't be here. And one thing I can tell you is that Sean Hubert will not be heard on the radio. Ooh, Jeff Terrell and... Bobby C. Probably Bobby C, right? Hildreth out play action, throws left side. Got him. And it's tipped and nearly intercepted. He was looking for Freeman down at the 30-yard line. And this drive got bogged down. It's now fourth down right near midfield. So we'll see. It looks like Frontier's going to send the punting team out. Yeah, you know, again, that was a really well-thrown ball by Hildreth, his first pass attempt of the game. And it was really number 21, Liam Dawson for South Hadley that came back. I thought that pass was going to be completed. He got a mitt on it, and that's that old tip drill that you do every day in practice that you wonder why you do it. And he tipped it up in the air. His own player almost got to it. Worthily punting, and the deep man is Hunter Carey. High go, booming go, kick, go. Hunter Carey all the way back to the 10, loses it down to the two yard line, buried. and he's buried inside his own five yard line. He's down right near the one yard line. A great punt, not handled well down there. Yeah, the Red Hawks have been really good on kick coverage this year. They've not made too many mistakes there. And again, when you drive the guy back inside his own five and that one little mishandle just gives enough time for the Red Hawks to get down there. And by then, I mean, he was on his, the seat of his pants before he knew what happened. We're so, looking at a 99-yard field yeah, here, Sean. Yeah, well, again, we, you know, they ran the ball very effectively, not in big chunks, little chunks. You know, they were getting first downs. They got a long ways to go here, though. 7.46 to play in the half, tied at seven. That was almost a safety. That's right outside the goal. Look at that. Yeah. Down around their one, maybe their two-yard line. First down and 10. Shotgun formation, Pratt the quarterback, and now a stop <laughs> half, the distance. half the distance, meaning they're going to nudge the ball about two inches. <laughs> That's the thing, you know, you're on your own one yard line and you commit that foul. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 instead of giving a five yard penalty because that would put you at minus four. Gotta tell, I got to tell you, Sean, I, I have a feeling this game may be 9-7 Frontier in a minute. I, I'm getting a strong feeling that South Hadley might get ta tackled in their own end zone. Well, they're, they're, their back is right to it, and again, half the distance got them. Uh, that's probably a one-yard penalty or less. The ball, I think, was about the one-yard line when it was uh, whistled. That thing's just about touching the goal line right now. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, could be disaster. Quarterback Pratt out of the shotgun, out of the end zone, which, again, could be dangerous all in itself. See if they go quarterback. To it. They're trying to draw Frontier offside. It's not happening. Trying to jump. Yeah, it's not working, and they have to burn a timeout. Nice try, didn't work. Then this will be just a brief timeout. We'll keep it right here. So obviously, they were trying to go to that hard, little hard. He's being very demonstrative, a hard count, didn't work. He's been doing that throughout the game, and actually he's had some of the linebackers moving, but has not drawn the offensive line, I mean the defensive line offside. In this case, Frontier was completely and absolutely ready for that. There was not one kid even thinking about moving, and the quarterback was moving around and waving his arms, and... They knew they were not going to run a play. It looked as though Frontier did too, actually. All right, Pratt again out of the shotgun. He has not been under center. Now they shift around. First and about 10 and a half from their one yard line. Here's the handoff. A little bit of space now as they get the ball out near the five yard line. We'll see who that ball carrier was. They're way down the other end of the field. Dawson on the carry. That was Liam Dawson, their leading cool. ground gainer. Give him about three. three yards, yeah, give him three on that. Seven. Got out to the four yard line, second down at about six or seven here. Well, as you said, a little bit of breathing room right there, so it, it takes the safety out of the out of the mix unless you make a mistake now. Like a bat snap. Again, they go shotgun entirely, shotgun or pistol formation. They're in the shotgun right now. Pratt looks over the frontier D, has a man come in motion. That is Dawson. But the gain is going to go the other way. Looks like that was uh, Ben Watkins, number 10. And he makes a nice gain out towards the 10-yard line. So they're uh, edging closer to that first down. Well, this is exactly what they did in that opening drive that ate up most of the first quarter clock. And that's a, that's a nice run right there for them because now you're set up with a, a third and about two yards, which... Again, that's almost best case scenario from where they started. Right, and the idea is to get the first down here, but even if they have to punt, they won't be punting with the punter's, you know, heel right back on that uh, end of the uh, end zone. You step out of bounds, it's a safety, yeah. and you know they're going to come at you, and all kinds of bad things can happen, yeah. Let's see what they do on third down and one. Inside carry, 
And looks like he got the first down. It's yes, that was a Watkins. And they moved the chains. All right, so South Hadley, after not getting the penalty drawn, that's a good set of downs. That was great. But here's the thing now you got six minutes and uh, clock's rolling, six minutes and 16 seconds. This attack hasn't shown me that they can move the ball very quickly so far for South Hadley. Very methodical, as we said. Not a big play so far, and I think they're going to need a big play. Not enough time for them to, to do what they did in the first quarter. Coming in motion is Carey, but the inside give. As Carey was basically a decoy, will only go for a very short gain. So he gets up on the bottom of that pile. And that was Dawson. And we'll see, Cole Price evidently was the stop. Really, kind no game. It'll be second down and 10. Yeah, they bottled him up pretty good. Dawson, eight, uh, excuse me, seven carries now, 28 yards. Well, four yards per carry. 5.30 to play here in the first half. We're tied at seven. We'll have the Greenfield Savings Bank halftime report coming up. We said Liam Dawson came into this game averaging seven yards a carry, so well under his season average so far. And the pitch on the left side goes to Borowski. Frontier though strings it out, not a big gain there. Well, they did have a few blockers out in front, but it's going to be third down and long. Not the same quickness on that play. They showed the first couple times they ran it. Borowski had had some luck. Well, we're gonna march him up there a little bit. We'll call it, yeah, we'll call it two on the carry. So 17 yards total now for Borowski, four carries for him. Third down in seven or eight. Ball inside the 20 yard line of South Halley. They're moving left to right here. And we'll see now if Pratt goes up top. They try to screen pass, they try to shot into the end zone. They haven't been able to be successful yet. Now they're gonna do a handoff that goes nowhere. Brought down in the backfield was the ball carrier there. Tried an inside reverse handoff to Dawson. Dove right back in the middle and he lost a yard. So. Yeah, again, the good, the bad, and the ugly all on that drive for South Hadley. Again, you start the drive at your own two, you have a penalty. Ball's now on your own goal line. They were able to get a first down and get out of that mess, but no further. Fourth down and nine, they're going to have to punt. And Frontier has got plenty of time, and Landry is going to receive this ball somewhere around uh, their own field, right around the 50-yard line. He's just about the 47. He'll get it inside that. So they're going to get good field position here. South Haldi, you want to get a good snap here. And a little bit slow, it's bobbled. And the punter had to hurry his kick. And it takes the side kick out of bounds at around the 35 yard line. And you can hear the reaction of the crowd here. This is going to be a very short field that the Hawks will be working with, with 3.43 left in the half in this tie game. Yeah, and again, that, was, that could have been a disaster. That ball was snapped, it rolled to him. I mean, it was end over end when he collected it. He dropped it once, but then, was able to pick it up and he had to get his foot on the ball real quick. I mean, you can't blame him for that. We figured they'd have the ball somewhere inside the 50 yard line anyway, but yeah, really good starting field position for the Red Hawks. 37 yard line, first down and 10. 7-7 seven, seven game, 3.43 to go here in the first half. Red Hawks, good opportunity to take a lead into the halftime. And on play action, Hildreth looking, and he's got Freeman left side to the 10, to the 5. Tackle down. Did he get in? They're going to say touchdown. Very late call. The ball broke the plane before Freeman's knee hit at the 2. And the Red Hawks lead it 13 to 7. Well, Hildreth had only attempted one pass. We knew he'd probably only attempt five or six in the game. And that right there on first and 10. There, of course, everybody's packed in on the run and all of a sudden you got Freeman wide open running down the left side and after that it was his foot speed to the goal line and just got there 50 thrust me 38 yards the on 38 that connection yards, yeah and now Hildreth the made to throw it will try for the conversion kick out of Worthley's hold oh, looks like he pushed it right oh, hit the upright hit the upright wow you don't see that very often 335 to play here in the first half and on the car quest of Greenfield South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard it's now Frontier 13, South Hadley 7. We'll have the Greenfield Savings Bank halftime report coming up. Matt Hildreth with a high end over end kick, taken at the 15 yard line up the middle. And uh, 
Borowski takes it to around the 40-yard line. A flag on the play as well. We kind of feel like South Hadley needs good starting field position for this drive. Three and a half minutes to play in the half. And again, they've shown the ability to run the ball, but not big chunks and not a, a passing attack that's going to move it downfield awfully quick. So we'll see how, which way this penalty goes now. Penalty is against the Red Hawks. Now... And let's see. Yeah, they're going to take the result of the of the kick return because they could have taken it at Frontier kick again. We'll take it at the 40-yard line. Yeah, they're right in the middle of that mud spot. Yeah, there is. There's a very. You know, I got stuck in the mud on my way here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Did you do that? Yeah. I don't see your tire tracks. <laughs> Me, three little kids, and then someone's mom came. We had to push that thing out. First down and ten from the 40. And the inside give. Is going to go to Watkins number 10, Ben Watkins, for just a short game. He ends up in that mud. We have some muddy jerseys before this one's over. We had uh, some rain earlier in the week, and the field has been chewed up. It's November. This field has seen a lot of action. Yeah, field looks fantastic. Again, just the amount of rain that we've had over the last few days. And, and that's really where most of the play occurs, kind of right in the middle of the football field. So you get that dirt spot, and there's a little mud out there now, too. And Three minutes to play here in the half. 13-7 Frontier. They have a touchdown run and a touchdown pass. Oh, oh boy. It goes over the head of the quarterback. Oh, a shotgun oh, is free. Oh, and I think Frontier has it. Frontier so. indicates that they have it. Officials are sorting it out. Frontier gets the football inside the South Hadley 25-yard line. I'm not sure if it was Hoffman that came out with the football, but he was one of the guys right there. Donovan Hoffman came in and put a lick on the quarterback as he tried to scramble for the football. There were a couple of Red Hawks there. Not sure which one came up with it, but 2.45 to play. That could be a critical mistake for South Hadley. The Hawks, you know, they would love to go up by two scores Timeout before halftime. Timeout taken down, taken by the Tigers. 2.45 to play, first half on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. It is now Frontier 13, South Hadley 7. All right, scoreboard update. What did we do, Sean? We first started doing these games. We had no cell phones. We didn't get. We uh, didn't have any uh, scoreboard updates. I don't but, think. <laughs> well, we do have scoreboard updates from the Greenfield Pioneer game and Mohawk Turners. Yeah, and uh, a surprising turn of events. Well, Greenfield, we'll start there because that's not the surprise. Greenfield started big. They're up big. 38-7. Uh, excuse me, 38-13 now with four and a half to go. We'll get to that Mohawk Turners game here in just a second. Pistol formation. Don't usually see this. Hildreth is going to hand to Bryce Dobas. Looks to turn the corner on the right side. Inside the 20. Still going. He's got a first down inside the 20 yard line. Yeah, that's a nice rip. He's actually down inside the 10, maybe inside the 5. We'll give him 20 on the carry. So Turner's had a 6 0 lead early, but uh, something has changed over there in Turner's. Yeah, something has changed. You know, we were talking about that matchup, and it brought me back to the days of Stephen Reynolds and uh, Andrew Doty, and they were battling out with Johnny O'Lowry and, and that crew. But 14 8 right now, Turner's falls. Mohawk had gone up 8 6. First down and goal inside the 10 yard line. Steve Wordley bouncing to the outside and he's down close to the five yard line. Or maybe just outside the five. It'll be second and goal from there. Down the 2.06 to play here in the half. I would not be surprised if Frontier punches another one of these in. South Hadley not in a good position right now. Down 13 7. Frontier knocking at the door. Two minutes to play. They do have two timeouts, so time not a factor. Second and one here. They can get a first down at the, about the four-yard line. And they're going to go back to Wordley on the right side, and he moves inside the five-yard line. They'll place him at the three. And, and let's see. Third down and goal from there. We said at the top of the show, both of these fellas, Landry and Worthley, come into this game with 15 rushing touchdowns on the season. Neither one in the end zone here yet tonight. There's Dobis in the backfield as well. Hildreth gives Dobis right tackle towards the goal line. Did he get in? No. He's going to be stopped just outside the goal line. Fourth down. Well, now you've got all kinds of options, though. I mean, the ball literally right outside the goal line just go behind that big old offensive line clock is still in motion down to a minute to play fourth down here free 
Right side carry into the end zone, touchdown. Let's see who it was. Was it Bryce Dovis? Bryce Dovis. And it's 197 Red Hawks. Well, you don't think that Aaron Landry and Steven Wordley probably have a little friendly competition amongst themselves. And again, each one coming in with 15 touchdowns. But we talked about Bryce Dovis banged up early, come in as a blocking back most of the season. And now Bryce Dobins is the first back into the end zone for Frontier as they extend that lead. 19-7 now as they go for the extra two-point conversion here. Yep, there are one of two on their kicks with Hildreth. Hildreth under center. And Matt's going to take it himself on the right side. He's going to dive towards the end zone and he got in. Run. Timeout on the field, 53.8 seconds left to play first half on the car quest of Greenfield. South Deerfield and Shepard scoreboard. It's now Frontier 21, South Hadley 7. This year, high end over end kick. Carry from the 28, across the 30, across the 40. And he's dumped right around the 40 yard line. Hunter Carey with a nice return there. DeForest with a nice tackle at the end of that as well. And now South Hadley looking up the wrong side of us. 21-7 score with 50 seconds to play here in the first half. They have, uh, I believe they have two timeouts remaining. They have two remaining, yeah. So I don't know, uh, again, they've not really shown the ability to move the ball in big chunks. And their quarterback, Michael Brad, again, they didn't, they didn't even attempt to pass at all last week. He's 0 for 3 in this game. In our Greenfield Savings Bank halftime report coming up, we'll recap the first half here, talk about the other games happening. And the Patriot update is very simple. They won last week, they're off this week. There you go, you're updated. Perfect. That's it. They win next week. Not that it was a quiet week because it was actually a very loud week through the uh, trades. Yeah, that was ugly. A lot of guys moving around, they did a direct snap to the left halfback, Liam Dawson, but that's going to be a penalty against the Tigers. They kind of outsmarted themselves. Yeah, just a little too quick off the jump there. South Hadley now five penalties, 26 yards for them. Frontier's been penalized three times, costing them 20 yards. So that will bring the ball back to the 34-yard line. And that will present first down and 15, 48 seconds left here in the half. Winner of this game plays the winner of Wakona Palmer. Western Mass D7 title game next weekend. Shotgun formation. Pitch on the left side. Ooh, it was a high pitch. The ball carrier, the ball carrier did a good job of bringing that down. Hunter Borowski, but just a short gain over the left side. Yeah, it just took too much time for him to pick the ball off his helmet. You know, the pitch was a little bit behind him and high. And nice hands to go up and get that thing. They'll call a timeout to stop the clock here. South Hadley called the TO, but we'll keep it here. Just going to be a very brief timeout. Basically just to stop the clock. So that was a gain of about three or so. Second down and 12, the ball and around the 38 yard line of South Hadley, moving left to right here in the second quarter. Trailing by 14. Their one score was a defensive score. Uh, I guess we call it a fumble, but it was just a defender ripping the ball out of the frontier ball carrier and taking it to the house. Yeah, that should be its own category. Yeah, it will be a fumble recovery, but it wasn't fumbled. He just uh, literally ripped it out of Aaron Landry's arms and ran into the end zone with it. Yeah, and we're looking at a South Hadley offense that they've scored in their last four games, 34, 29, 34, and 40 points. So very proficient in this run to the playoffs. But tonight, just seven points. That was by the defense. Out of the shotgun, a low snap. Quarterback tries for the handoff, and the timing is completely blown up. Worley brings him back for a big loss as uh, Hunter Borowski had nowhere to go. That's a team playing with very little confidence right now. They're not even running their plays sharply enough to really get off the blocks. The last two plays, last three plays have been awful. One was a penalty. Yeah, you know what, it's, you know what it looks like, Sean? Uh, not even week one. This looks like a, a scrimmage in late August yep. when, when, you got, when you're just getting out there. Didn't start that way. Again, their opening drive, they chewed up most of the quarter. They didn't get in the end zone. They're just going to uh, let the time expire here. They're not going to run a play. Halftime here. Western Mass Division 7 semifinals. Number two, Frontier 21. Number three, South Hadley 7. On the conquest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard, the Greenfield Savings Bank High School Football Halftime Report is coming up next.
support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you. Hammer, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont. Or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building materials. Good evening, Frontier fans. It's now time Wayman for the Frontier Financial fans. Services, LLC. Halftime Entertainment. Take charge of your the financial future. The game is under the direction of Mr. Matt Sherrod. Insurance, Sarah. investments, and benefits Tonight, for individuals and employees. Tonight, the fans have featured a of their favorite halftime tunes. Attorney Daniel Gray, Gray Desiquan. Off the season. In addition to being the Eagles town moderator. Dan's a practicing attorney. Eagles. Call his First Greenfield up, office at 773 follow that with the solo Senator Rock Ballad Desperado with solos by Ella Dean, Phelan Koski, and Emily Louse. And they'll close with one of their favorite tunes, Funky Town. the Elmer B. Allen Insurance broadcast booth at Frontier Regional. This is the Greenfield Savings Bank. High School Football Halftime Report, Western Mass Division Semi Semi-Finals. And it is Frontier leading at halftime, 21-7 over South Hadley. Well, Sean, we'll cut to the quick. Frontier is very close to seizing control of this football game and having a date in the Western Mass title game. Yeah, and they've only run 17 plays on offense. So again, that's the efficiency that they have. And we thought maybe South Hadley could score with them. They've been scoring quite a bit. We talked about that. Their last four games, the 4-0 run to get to the playoffs, and they've looked pretty good. And uh, the Red Hawk defense is playing tonight as good as I've seen them play this season. Yeah. And the offense is doing what the offense does, and they're getting it done. But uh, again, South Hadley, after giving up that early touchdown, Frontier ran four plays, they're in the end zone with Landry. And then they take a drive and they eat up almost the entire first quarter, which was pretty impressive. But again, no big chunks, just little, you know, first downs here, you know, almost always on third down, third and short, uh, which they would convert. And again, yeah, the, the Frontier dug in, they stopped them, but then the big the big play where the kid just rips it right out of Landry's arms and runs in for the touchdown. You're thinking, okay, now we've got a ball game, 7 7. But since then, it's been pretty much all Frontier. And now, I mean, halftime couldn't have come quick enough for South Happy. They they looked disjointed. They looked disheveled. I mean, they did some really good things in the first half. They're at their own one yard line, first and ten, and able to get a first down and get out of that. And uh, but not enough offensive firepower right now for South Happy. And I got to tell you what, on the other side with Frontier, Sean, they've never been. They're not now. They never will be a passing team. But they have run some play action with Hildreth, and they had one pass tipped away from Freeman. Then he made a catch for the touchdown. And also when they run him on a quarterback uh, keeper, he can do some damage as well. So we talk about the guys like Landry and Wordley and even Dobas now, but uh, it's not entirely running. Well, again, Hildreth is, is, you look at the numbers, he's one of two passing. And you're right, the other one, 
uh, a really good defensive play is what that was. That was just, you know, got tipped right at the end, and uh, the ball was thrown extremely well. And Hildreth had a, like a 40, 50 yard gain called back on a holding penalty when they ran him around the end. So, absolutely, Hildreth has been nearly perfect tonight. Again, just one of two passing, but he's at the 38 yard passing touchdown, and uh, no mistakes. Again, they're running their plays crisply. South Hadley really started to break down at the end of that half. They just. Uh, they just didn't look like the same team that we saw come out on that opening drive. And like I said, good good time for uh, halftime to come for them. Hopefully they can go in and regroup. They're going to get the ball first uh, in the second half. So, you know, down by two scores. And, but you got to establish something early, I think. If, if the Frontier scores get first, goes up 28-7 at any point. That, that should be the ball game, really. Should be the ball game. We'll see if that's how it plays out. We'll take a 10 out here on the Greenfield Savings Bank. High school football halftime report. More halftime from South Deerfield next on Bear Country 95.3. this all year. Just a note that tomorrow they want to recognize six members of the band who will be auditioning for the MMEA Senior Music Festival tomorrow at Westfield State. Ella Dean, Belakoski, Greenfield Savings Bank Green, High School Green, Football Austin, Halftime Report Aiden continues. Green, it is Frontier 21 South Hadley here at halftime. But Sean, you know, this is the game of the night. Obviously it's tournament, but so these non-qualifying games, I mean, first of all, people need to understand, it's been a few years we've done this. These aren't real games, they count the standings, and it's reuniting some teams that don't usually play very often. you got Pioneer playing Greenfield once again this year. They played a couple of years ago, one of these non-qualifiers. Greenfield won big, it looks like they're winning big here as well, but... You know, I kind of miss those old Mohawk Turners games. Yeah, well, that was. And it's kind of nice that they're playing. When I saw that, that was going to be the qualifier game. Again, it just uh, made me think about, uh, you know, Stephen Reynolds and Andrew Doty and Lumen, and uh, they had some characters on that team, but they were fun to watch. Reynolds was just a, such a tough runner, and of course, on the Turner side, you had uh, Bertie Markle and uh, Malcolm Smith was the quarterback, and. Uh, you know, again, Johnny Olari and uh, yeah, some battles. Oh, yeah. it was fun to watch. Turners did get the better of them, but uh, those were fun games. And yeah, I was. Uh, if we weren't here, that's where I would want to be. Now in that game, as it turns out, Turners took a six-nothing lead, but Mohawk came back, led it eight-six, and right now it's Turners falls fourteen to eight at halftime. So good game over there. Thought it would be a good game, and uh, they're they're being treated to a, a good ball game. And uh, good game over there. Uh, Greenfield, good night for them. Again, they uh, started the year 3-0, then they lost three consecutive games. Uh, at least one of them, most people termed as an upset when they lost to Athol, but it was a resurgent Athol team at that point. And they come back last week with a win over a one-win Belchertown team. They expected to win. They won easily. And uh, they had a relatively easy time with Pioneer. Last check, they were up big late in the fourth quarter, and R.J. Bird came back tonight. Yeah, the Athol game was uh, kind of an outlier, and again, because I think Athol started so slowly, I was very impressed once they got everybody back together and yeah. uh, played some much better ball down the stretch. And you now again, uh, commitment to uh, uh, dedication to finishing the season strong and uh, to be commended. Uh, yeah, that was the one where Greenfield came off the bye and we knew it was going to be a big game and uh, it was going to eliminate them from the playoffs if they lost and they lost big and R.J. Bird got hurt and it sounds like it couldn't have gone much worse for him down there in Athol. But yeah, to bounce back at a win last week and now another one tonight. Uh, let's see, Gary Sack is sending me some updates and he says uh, game over. So 38 
21, 21 was the final. Okay. It was 38-13 uh, yeah. when the JV went in with about five minutes to go. So Greenfield controlled that game. And uh, again, that's uh, with R.J. Bird back. Last we knew, we had about three carries for 70 some odd yards. And yep. uh, again, another uh, add that weapon to your backfield. Hazelton, I'm not sure if he's back. And they had a big old lineman that ran for a couple hundred yards. Colin last Cloutier, week. Uh, yeah. So again, you got a kid in Phelps <laughs> that can throw the ball a little. And uh, again, just a couple of bad losses for Greenfield. You know, they started strong, and it looked like this could be the year they kind of put it back together. And uh, it kind of fell apart a little bit in the middle. But they're finishing strong. And again, that's going to make for a good battle on uh, Turkey Day morning. Already looking forward to that one. Looking forward to the second half here. And again, the winner of this game will play probably Wakona, but they're playing Palmer. We'll see how that game turns out. That game at a site to be determined. Now, if you're Frontier, you go on to win the game, you match up better against Palmer, you'll be in a favorite against Palmer, but then again, you'd love to get redemption against a team that knocked you out the year before. Well, you know what? Uh, directly to your left is Colleen Bannister, and I'll bet you, if we were really nice to her, she might be able to come up with a score on oh, that game. Oh, okay. I don't know. I mean, I'd be kind of curious, and Colleen Bannister might know. Well, we'll take a timeout here while she works on that. This is the Greenfield Savings Bank High School Football Halftime Report. Second half kickoff is coming up next with Frontier leading South Hadley 21-7. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Liam Dawson back to receive for the Tigers. Ben Watkins on a return. Eno McMillan on a stop for the Red Hawks. First and 10 South Hadley from the Tiger 35. And it is Ben Watkins of South Hadley with a 12 yard return to the 35 yard line. First and 10 Tigers here, third quarter. They trail 21 to seven. They were completely dominated in the second quarter. And we'll see what adjustments each team in fact has made here for the second half. Coming in motion That's is Carey. It's Borowski, actually, Hunter Borowski, and he, again, a strong run, a much better start to the second half here than in that second quarter, a nice gain on first down. Yeah, right about the same part of the field as well, and yeah, things were just kind of uh, falling apart there at the end for South Hadley. Nice start there, gain of about six yards, we'll say, for Borowski. I, I hate to say critical at this point of a game. I mean, we're just starting the second half, but the way this game has gone, South Hadley down 21-7. I call this a pretty critical drive for them. Out of the shotgun formation. And the handoff over right tackle. Good for Dawson a first Jerry. down. It's Dawson. Liam gets the first down. Well, let's see. Very good for a first down. Close to the first down. It's shy good by a body down. yard. The third down third and one. Yard. Less than one. Dawson came in leading the team in rushing. We talked about that. Just over 600 yards on the season for him. Nine carries, 33 yards on this one. So again, Frontier doing a nice job keeping pistol, him quiet. Pistol formation, a high snap. Ball is loose, jumped on by the quarterback, but all the way back at his 30-yard line. Right through his hands. And they are looking at fourth down and long, and so much for that from third and one to fourth on a bundle. Over his head, and again, that's the second time. The first time it created a turnover. The quarterback scrambled to get the ball. He slightly mishandled it, and Frontier was right there to, to pounce on it, and right there, he was able to just jump on the ball, but by then, as you said, over his head, through his hands, and bad play again for South Hadley. Too many mistakes for a playoff game, for sure. That's not a way to win in advance to the title game. Snap goes back, here comes Frontier. A high, but 
a high but short kick, and it lands in the mud. And that punt's going to go for only about 15 yards, if that. He's kicking into the wind, and he got so high, I'm thinking that thing could end up going backwards. I mean, it really got hung up there. When it came down, it came down in that dirt and mud part of the field, and looked like one of my uh, nine irons. Just kind of <laughs> hit the green there and plop. One little hop and then just stop dead. Well, when golf sometimes that's exactly what you want to do. You want to stick it right yeah, there. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Not with a football generally on a punt. Short field for Frontier. Yeah. They have it inside the 45-yard line. 43, we'll call it first down and 10. And it's Aaron Landry on the left side. Uses the stiff arm, shoved out of bounds inside the 40 at around the 37-yard line. And it'll be second down coming up. Four carries for Landry in the first half. So five carries now. 77 yards for Aaron Landry. Of course, the first one of the first carries he fumbled there. They call it a fumble, but again, the ball got ripped out of his arms. Second down and five. 37 yard line. And it's Landry again. Aaron lowers the shoulder, runs over the tackler, still going. Aaron Landry with a first down inside the 30 yard line. Yeah, again, you try to tackle Landry high, and he can kind of. Slither by you, try to go low, he can step right over you. He's just got great vision. He sees things developing in front of him and maximizes every run at the end of that one there. Again, as you said, guy goes low, Andrew goes high, and big gainer there for Aaron. 9.05 to play, third quarter, Frontier 21, South Hadley 7. First down Frontier at the South Hadley 30 yard line, just inside the 30. Full house backfield behind, pitch, Landry, he gets caught immediately. And that's going to go for no gain. You ra uh, he never did go down, but no gain on the play. That is a rarity. Oh, and again, and you can see they had him stacked up, and they're trying to rip that ball out. Landry, two arms firmly planted around that football, and three South Hadley defenders trying to rip it out. So the ball is still at the 30-yard line. No gain. Second down and 10 for the Hawks. Freeman will be split wide to the right. Wordley will be in a slot left. Landry on the right. Dobis right behind the quarterback, Hildreth. Matt calling the signals. Handoff now goes to Wordley. His first second half carry. Turns the corner. He's got the first down and more. Cuts back. He's inside the 20 yard line. First down, Red Hawks. Yeah, let's see where he marked him. He went from the 30. I think he's well inside the 20. Yep. Down to maybe the 10. Let's see where they end up. Right, that right outside the 10 yard line. We'll call it the 11. 19 yards there for Steven on his first carry. 54 yards on the game for him. And they are back in the red zone. And not only did South Hadley not drive the field and get a touchdown to make it a one possession game, they are in danger of falling behind by three scores. And that probably. Probably be too much to come back. I from. don't see it happening. Yeah, absolutely. They need a big play here on defense. And it's Hildreth caught behind the line of scrimmage, but slithers away from the tacklers and is actually able to gain a yard to the 10. It'll be second down from there. They actually, it's looking like they're going to to the line of scrimmage. Oh, they're going to mark it up here a little Just bit. Just about a yard. Yeah, a yard Give him a yard. Here. Did a lot of running for one yard. He got buried at the end. 7.43 to play here, third quarter. And Frontier leads 21-7. South Hadley had the opening possession after a snap over their quarterback's head. Ended up with a long fourth down. Frontier driving again. Corbin Blake comes in now at fullback for the Hawks, but it is going to be Steve Wordley on the right side. Takes it over the tackle inside the 10. Down to around the eight. We'll give them about two or three there. Third down and long coming up for the Hawks. So South Hadley is stiffening up. And yeah, Sean, absolutely. They have to keep the Hawks out of the end zone. They, they really do. Again, just the, the flow of this game. The offense is a little disjointed for them now. I mean, we saw them run the ball effectively in the first quarter. But that's been about it for the South Hadley offense. So as you mentioned, the one score they have on the board was defensive. Third down and seven. And they're going to go to Bryce Dobis, and he's breaking tackles, and he reaches towards the end zone. He's in. Touchdown, Bryce Dobis. And Frontier now leads by 20. It's 27-7. Uh, great effort again by Bryce Dobis. We said he could be the X factor coming into this one. It was Landry with the 50-yard run to get him started, and now Dobis has run in two touchdowns, five carries, 37 yards, and a pair of scores for Bryce. 
And yeah, you know, Frontier up now 27 7. These extra points pending. South Hadley's going to need a miracle to come back in this one now. Worthley will hold for Hildreth. Snap back. Placement down. The kick is up. And the kick is good. 6.45 to play here in the third quarter. And a car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. It's now Frontier 28, South Hadley 7. All right, ball teed up on the 40-yard line. Hildreth, Frontier now leading by 20. This was probably a coin flip game. Wow. It's anything but. That kick went way out of bounds. That's that wind, I think. I know I know he's angling that way, Hildreth, anyway, but it went way out of bounds. Well, again, with the golfer reference, if you hit a, a tee shot that's going to go that direction and the wind's blowing in that direction, the ball goes further that direction. I think you're right, Jeff. You got it. Kind of pulled it a little bit, but the wind certainly aided that. Almost hit the camera guy down there. Good thing he was paying attention. Yeah, yeah you know, Sean, I, this is sounding like I'm calling out and I'm not calling out. I'm, just, I'm pointing something out here. Uh -huh. You know, you you clearly to me have completely, completely fallen in love with the game of golf. Absolutely. You've made numerous golf references during this football season. A couple. A couple. And I'm thinking that you're one of those guys who is going to play as deep into the fall as you can. Playing tomorrow. I know. On Sunday. <laughs> I know. Don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there won't be too many left. Uh, you barely used to golf at all. And well, you have, raising the kids, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't play for a long time, and, and now I have the opportunity. Are, and you yeah. are nuts about the game of got golf. The, got the bug, yeah, for all sure. Right. We're going to get you out there, man. I'm telling you. Uh, I don't like breaking golf clubs, generally speaking. Quarterback draw. And taking it right up the gun and getting some actual decent yardage was Pratt. Brought it out to the 35 yard line. We're going to have about, about five yards there, second down. Now, again, these types of plays, they were running in the first quarter. Again, they ran the ball all the way up the field, but very, very slowly. Third down almost every, every time. They did convert the third, but uh, again, clock rolling now, 6.20 to go, third quarter. They're going to need to move a little bit. And they, again, uh, the firepower on the offensive side just not there right now for South Hadley. Shotgun formation, double wing formation. Dawson will take the pitch on the right side. Frontier waiting for him, though. And he swarmed under for a loss. And again, the timing off the pitch wasn't good. And if the pitch isn't good, the play's not going to work. Well, and again, you know, I'm talking about them not being very successful. But when you looked at that play, there were five Red Hawks there. On the ball, you know what I mean? It, it, you get the kid with the ball, you got 11 guys, and there's five Red Hawks around that one guy from South Hadley. And uh, again, good defense here tonight for them. They're actually pitching a shutout. Like we said, it's 28-7, but the touchdown came from the defense. Third down and about seven. The ball back at the 34-yard line. They need to get to the 41 to keep the chains moving. Shotgun formation, play action. Throwing to the left side. That's going to go for a first down the left side. Up to midfield. Pass, Pass to is complete ben to Ben Watkins. And they'll move the sticks. Really good throw there by Pratt. A 14-yard reception to Watkins. And that's his first completion of the game. One for four there. First down South Hadley. They had to have that. I mean, they just had to get a first down here. 5-10 to play here. Third quarter. Frontier 28, South Hadley 7. And again, shotgun as usual. Carey comes in motion. Inside give, though, is going to go to uh, Ben Watkins. Gets it into Frontier territory to the 48. Give him a gain of about three or four right there. Well, the good news for South Hadley is you look at this, and uh, first time they've made the playoffs in a while. Again, they had a couple of really dominant teams back around 2012 when they went to Gillette. 2010, they were 12 and one state champs. They beat uh, Putnam Vote Tech. But been a while, lost to Palmer in 2016, back in the playoffs this year. But they have a young team, not a lot of seniors in this starting group. Pitch now on the left side. And Borowski tiptoes along the sideline. We'll see, he's very close to the first down. He did get the first down. I want to take a second here to think some of our South Hadley sponsors that joined the broadcast here tonight. South Hadley Electric Light is with us. South Hadley's Tower Theaters joining us for the broadcast here as well. And uh, All Power is one of our uh, sponsors as well. NGM Services, I was glad to do their commercial here today and a few others as well. 
Well, it's what keeps us alive. You know, not too many local radio stations do high school football anymore. Quarterback draw, and the quarterback Pratt takes it from the 40 down to the 36. We'll give him about four, second down. We're fortunate in this area that these folks sponsor the kids, they sponsor the sports, they sponsor the, the community. Look at this community, look at these people. I mean, there's a ton of people out. And again, uh, we couldn't do it without the support and the help of all the sponsors, and uh, very much appreciated. Fun fact about this game, we talked about, Colleen Bannister actually pointed out. And we will get to that right after this play. Second down and about six. Coming in motion is Watkins, but instead it's Carey on uh, the left side, and Hunter brings it inside the, the Frontier 35 down to the 32. Just a third carry for Carey Hunter. Uh, third, yeah, third carry for Hunter Carey, and 16 yards on those. But so we're talking uh, two things, and I looked down and I'd written uh, the number of this game that it, as I do every time, and this is our 366th football game that we have broadcast together. Yep. And Colleen said, if this was a leap year, that would be a game a every, day. Every day. For a whole year. For a whole leap year. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I just, I hadn't thought of it that way. And uh, it's pretty cool, my friend. Wow, it is. Pretty cool. And I think we still have some tread on the tire. I hope so. Out of the shotgun, coming in motion. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Dawson loses his footing, but it didn't matter because Bryce Dovis was waiting for him anyway. That's going to go to a loss back out to the 35-yard uh, line. Yeah, you know, Frontier really just starting to assert their dominance here on the defensive side. Again, they haven't given up a touchdown. 28-7, the offense functioning as it always has this season. The one loss against Greenfield, the overtime game, the only yeah. blemish on the schedule. And everybody went, whoa, well, what happened that night? At the time, it was <laughs> it was huge because Greenfield, you know, was looking pretty good, and we knew Frontier was going to be good. And, well, is that going to work? But that was the only time that Frontier walked off the field a, a loser this season. Again, 5-0 and at home, 5-1 and in the league, that one loss. Fourth down here, fourth down and five. Now they'll go to a spread formation. No one in the backfield other than the quarterback. No, oh, they moved. And they moved, and it's going to go from fourth and four to fourth and nine. Well, again, it's just you can't make. Oh, they got the timeout. Okay. They called the TO. Good. We'll Looking keep it them. here, though. Yeah. yeah, we heard the whistle. I, I thought there was a flag as well. Yeah, it looked like they moved, but it was a timeout called. So that was, uh, again, if South Hadley has any chance to come back in this one, again, down 28-7. Uh, they're going to have to get this first down on fourth and about four. I will call it five yards. They have to get the first down, and then they have to get the touchdown. They can they can't really take too much time. I mean, it's an uphill battle anyway. The way Frontier's playing uh, offensively and yeah. defensively, both ways. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that looks like Mr. Brown. What's Mr. Brown telling me? 21-14 Turner's falls in the third quarter. So a fun game. Yeah, they got a good one going over there at uh, Bordeaux Fields. Nice. And I'm sure they have a nice crowd there because Mohawk travels well and Turner's always draws well anyway. No doubt. I remember the crowds back when we were talking about the, the era here five, six years ago. And yeah, yeah they got big, big crowds. Big crowds, yeah. Those were yeah. fun games. Yeah, that was a good rivalry. And then, of course, uh, Mohawk dropped into the Tri-County League. And they would play a game here and there, but they would make the postseason. They lost to Turner's in the postseason, yeah, in fact, right. a couple of times. One time at Pollard Field and, the, and one time uh, a couple of years ago where they only scored on, on a safety. They played uh, twice that season, I believe. That was the second time Turner's had beaten them. Yes. Yeah, that was before they dropped into the Tri-County League. Yep, yep. And again, they were fun. To, well, it takes a special group of guys up at Mohawk to, to have a team that can be successful. You only got so many kids. Fourth down now here. Fourth down and four. They'll go shotgun. Wideouts to either side. Pratt, the quarterback. Play action. Heavy oh. rush. He got blasted. Oh. oh, he got blasted for a sack all the way back at the 43-yard line. I'll, I'll tell you what, young man. Garrett DeForest. DeForest is coming off the field like he's the baddest man on the planet. And he is. Right now he is, absolutely. <laughs> that quarterback never saw him coming. How he didn't lose the ball, I have no idea. And DeForest, I mean, that's a, that's a highlight reel film right there when you see the NFL big hits. That, that, was, that was quality. He just blasted. The quarterback, Pratt, who's counting his teeth right now. Yep, they're all there. How he held on to that football, I know, give him, I a, lot no of, give him a lot of credit. He, <laughs> yeah. I, I thought for sure it was going to be his fourth down. It was going to be a turnover anyway, but pitch goes to Wordley. Bobbled it momentarily, but still makes a nice gain of six yards up to the midfield strike. We're down to 154 to play third quarter. All frontier right now. Hawks lead at 28-7. Yeah, we're looking at the scoreboard, looking at the time, and I was looking at the roster. This is Matt Jakes. He's a yes, freshman. Yeah. Here's number 21. 
it, it really should be a one or a two, not both, because he's 5'2", 100 pounds. Remember, you know, and every time we see one of these guys, you know, usually by the time that kid's a junior or a senior, he's out there making plays. Steven Wordley will take the pitch on the right side, keeps the legs chugging, but then falls into the muck. No gain. So he's 5'2", 100. When I was a freshman at Greenfield, the last year they had freshman football, by the way. Uh, five feet, 100 pounds. So I was similar size. Yeah, you knew the feeling. Yeah, it's yeah. absolutely. And uh, Frontier might be able to filter in some of these guys that are on the bench right now. They come down and score again, make it a 35-7 lead. And yeah, not quite yet. It's not in the no, third quarter. No, no. But down, yeah, I agree with you. Now they're going to go to a... Sh a uh, pistol oh, formation, boy. something new, and they're going to go to Dobis, who's out a big night. Short gain, though. He got kind of tripped up as he tried to take it around the right end. To the 49, it'll be about two or three yards shy. Fourth down here. And they caught the defense shifting on that, too, and they just ran the play right into the defense. Going to be fourth down here for the Hawks. Likely they'll punt this, I yeah, would think. Yeah, they're going to punt. Punting unit, well, punting units out there, whether it actually happens, we'll see. You could go here, I mean, again, if you turn it over at this part of the field, midfield, South Hadley hasn't been able to move the ball well, but, yeah, this would be probably the last play of the first quarter, I mean, the third quarter. Hunter Carey, yeah, they are going to fake it. Snap goes, it is going to go for the first down. Ended up in the hands. And he's going to bring it. It was Dobis that had it. First down. Well, you know, actually, it was McMillan is the one who actually brought it for the first down. The snap went to him. Oh, there you go. So, nice play there by McMillan. Brought the ball to the 41-yard line, and the drive now will continue. And that was the last play of the third quarter. End of three here in South Deerfield, and on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard, Frontier 28, South Hadley 7. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. First down Frontiers to begin the fourth quarter. It's not local, but how about this? Taconic at Agawam earlier today. Agawam 62, Taconic 46. Ooh, fumble. Fumble in the backfield. It's jumped on by Landry. And that will go for a loss back to the 44 yard line, second down, 43 yard line, second down and 12. 60, how many? 62-46. That's, that, that's a high school basketball score in wow. January. 62-46. points. Yeah. How many points is 62-46? That's 108. 108. What was that Frontier game we had here? 54. We were up around 90, I think, in that one. 54 right? yeah, against Mar. 50-something against 36. 36 yeah. yeah. Bryce Dobis on the yeah, Bryce Dobis taking it across yeah, right tackle the inside the 40-yard line of South Hadley. So he makes up the loss. And then a few more. Third down and about seven already coming up. Well, we felt like Bryce Dobis would be a factor coming into this football game. And look at the distribution of the carries. Dobis, that's his seventh carry. He's got himself 45 yards, found the end zone twice. Wordley, 10 carries, 62 yards. And Aaron Landry, eight carries for 83 yards. So all three guys getting an equal distribution of carries. And handoff center of the line. Hildreth kept it himself after faking the handoff. And he's going to get dropped for a loss of about two. Let's see where they place the ball down. They put it down right around that 40-yard uh, line. So it'll be fourth down and nine. Hawks, I'm sure, will go here. They were punting. Punt formation from midfield ended up going for it and getting it. Well, they're going to line up in punt formation. And to carry is back at his 10, then they will punt it. High but short. A lot of South Hadley guys will stand. Takes kind of a sidekick, and Frontier will bat it down at the 27-yard line. 
It'll be first and 10 for South Hadley from there, but they have a long way to go back. They trail by 21, only 9-10 left in the game. Right, and again, uh, just the numbers don't add up. Michael Pratt completed just one of his four pass attempts for 14 yards. Liam Dawson, the main man out of the backfield, 11 carries, just 31 yards for him. So Frontier's defense really getting it done tonight. Again, the offense doing what it does, 28-7 lead. Ball's on the 27-yard line of South Hadley. Tigers have it first down and 10. Quarterback Pratt out of the shotgun. Running backs to either side. Straight drop. Pump fake. Flushed out of the pocket and just throws that out of bounds. Nothing was there. Great downfield coverage. Yeah, I don't think he even tried to hit his receiver. He tried to break away, but again, we've seen Pratt do that a couple of times. Had nothing. Just threw it away. And one, of four, uh, one of five now passing is Michael Pratt. He's the senior on the offense. We're talking about the underclassmen, so Dawson, Watkins, and Borowski all juniors, and then Hunter Carey just a sophomore, so good collection of talent coming back for the Tigers. Certainly disappointing. They come here, they probably felt like they had a a decent shot at getting the road victory. I most not felt, felt like they had a decent shot. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Coming in motion is Dawson. He'll take it on the pitch on the right side, and he's got a big gain. A first down and more. He may be gone. 40-yard line, 30, 20, 10, good night, touchdown. 83 yards. Dawson takes it to the house. It's 28-13. They've been waiting for that to happen all night. Yeah, again, uh, might be a little too little, a little too late, but uh, it's it's a breath, you know. They're, they, were, they were underwater there for a while, 28-7. Offense hadn't scored. And now that big run by Dawson, we had said on... 11 carries, he had just 31 yards, and real quick now, 12 carries, 114 yards, and a touchdown Tigers for the junior. Six feet, 170 there. pounds, and that was just quick to the outside and then just ran away from everybody. Tigers will kick. Your first attempt was good. Snap back, placement down, and the kick is up. And it looks good. It is good. 8.50 to play here in the football game on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. It is now Frontier 28, South Hadley 14. Stobus and Aaron Landry are standing on their own 10 yard line as uh, a little bit of a counter punch leveled by South Hadley as they get it in the end zone. A long touchdown run and Sean Mitchell now kicking from the 40 and they're going to go for the onside kick. They got it! Perfectly executed by the Tigers. It went the 10 yards. A flag, however, is down on the far side. Uh, he might have made, number two might have made contact. Let's see, he came flying in and he didn't end up with the football, but he came in high. I don't know what that flag is gonna be. I really don't, but we do have an injured Tiger on the field. That's uh, Hunter Carey. We'll step aside for a break as they attend to him. 8.47 to play, Frontier leads by 14, back after these. A nice hand for number two, Hunter Carey. We need a safety, we need a safety if Hunter's not going. Flag is on the Tigers for interfering with the opportunity to catch. I'd like to take a minute to recognize and acknowledge the efforts of the cheerleaders of both teams. Nice job, ladies. First and 10 Frontier from the South Hadley 40 yard line. Steve Wardley on a carry. Nice diving on a stop for 
South Valley flag on the play. Some sportsman like conduct on the Red Hawks. 15 yard penalty. Second and 25. Now that was Bryce Dobis, and Bryce is a couple more yards back to the 42-yard line. Well, again, I don't want to get too excited for South Hadley right now, but it was 28-7 a minute ago. Now it's 28-14, and they have four timeouts remaining. Frontier's got a third and forever here. 10, 20, uh, 28 yards. Third and 28 for the Red Hawks. See if they use Hildreth passing out of play action. He is going to pass out of play action, and he's looking for Freeman. Incomplete flag was thrown, and he had a defender who was not playing the ball. Hildreth got dumped, too, and I actually thought that might have drawn a flag. It did not, but... Which, which way on the interference here? You know, the neither player gained an advantage to the ball. The ball was under thrown, for one thing. No, you know, I was actually, I saw where the ball was going, and I looked up at Hildreth, and pass like I said, he got taken down hard at the end of that play. It was pass interference on Frontier, and that was obviously declined, so I didn't think that was going to be defensive pass interference. So now Frontier forced to punt on fourth and forever, and uh, South Highland's going to get it back. And really, I think there should have been a flag on that on the hit on Hildreth. It wasn't a hit, he just got thrown down after he had thrown the ball. Hunter Carey back at his own 30-yard line, and Don Gordon is going to call a timeout for Frontier. We'll step aside, 7.36 to play. Frontier 28-14 over South Hadley, back after this. Too worthy to put, Hunter Carey. Hunter Carey on a return, Red Hawk stopped by 32 Sam Hebert. And we are back here on the Abba Allen Insurance broadcast booth at Frontier Regional. Steve Wordley just punted to Hunter Carey, who got a return of only about a yard or two, but 33-yard line, first and 10 Tigers. They trail by 14. They just showed they got at least one guy by the name of Leon Dawson who can score from anywhere, as he did a moment ago. Again, this is getting a little tighter, 28-14, seven and a half to play in the game. South Hadley looking much more confident after that nice defensive stand. Pitch to Dawson, halfback option, man is wide open, just overthrown. Wow. Austin Robinette would have been gone for six, but he was overthrown by about three, four yards. I'll tell you, that would have been just huge for South Hadley. Again, they were left for dead down 28-7, and all of a sudden, a long touchdown run in that. He had him, he had him, he just slightly over, again, it's windy. That ball sailed just a little, but that was a touchdown. We would have been looking at a 28-21 game after that play. That play would have gone for 67 yards, and the score it was just too far for Robinette to, he was trying, he was oh. trying to track that sucker, he just couldn't do it. Again, the wind is playing a factor, and it was, it was a well-thrown ball, they just didn't connect, but what a great play on the flea flicker. And they're going to work a double reverse, and it's Dawson. And Dawson he makes a nice carry. gain out across the 35 yard line up to the 38. It'll be third down at about five from there. Well, again, you take a shot on first right. down. They nearly connect, but a nice second down play there for Dawson, a run of about five yards. So it gives you a more manageable third down here anyway. Third, and we'll call it well, a little more than five, looks like, but right around there. 6.55 to play in the game, Frontier 28, South Hadley 14. Frontier has been the dominant team so far, but we are not done yet. Dawson comes all the way to the near side left this time. Shotgun formation, double wing. 
Back to pass is Pratt. Sets up, throws it on the right side. Has a man open, turned him around. Unable to catch it was Larrier. It'll now be fourth down. Yeah, again, another ball that was thrown very well. Michael Pratt, not a lot to show for his passing. One of six now, 14 yard connection. And, but the last two that he's thrown have been well thrown balls. And yeah, as you said, the receiver just got caught looking over the wrong shoulder. By the time he got spun around, he just couldn't get to the football. Fourth down, and I'm guessing South Hadley will go here. I mean, there's only 6.33 left. You're down by two scores. Yeah, probably have to. Frontier yeah. gets the ball back. I, uh, they're going to grind out a lot of that clock with their running game. And they're on their own 37, 38 go. yard line. Got to go. Shotgun formation. Pratt, the quarterback, looking over the D. He's got two receivers on the far side right. He's back to pass. Sets up, throws. It is caught at midfield. First down. Dawson, Dawson on the reception. And they convert on fourth down. Uh, again, uh, that ball was extremely well thrown by Pratt. And it ends up with his second completed pass of the game. 24 yards now for him. And a huge first down for South Hadley. 6.20 to play. And now they're going to go, uh, not no huddle, but they're going to really pick things up here. Again, out of the gun. Pratt throws over the middle. Low throw, incomplete. Looked for Dawson again. Again, they're now they're running they're Dawson split wide. Three. They just he's their playmaker. They want the ball in his hands. Catchable ball for him. He had to go down low to get it. And he again he's right at that spot in the middle of the field with the mud and the dirt and just couldn't get down there quick enough to get the scoop that ball. I thought he was gonna make the catch, but tough catch. Uh, it would have been a tough catch to make. Ball's on the 47-yard line of South Hadley. It'll be second down and ten. Clock is out, 6-10 to play. Frontier leading 28-14. Two receivers to the far side right. Back to pass is Pratt with some time. Deep ball right side into triple coverage. Intercepted. Class pass is picked off down around the frontier 30-yard line. Hildreth got it. Hildreth got it. And I thought there had been a flag. No, there is a flag well, right at the line of scrimmage. So hold the phone here. Yeah, if this thing is against the Red Hawks, obviously uh, wipes away the interception. And it looks like a preliminary indication as though it might be against the Red Hawks. Let's see. Well, that's why the chain game, they, they moved too fast. Yeah, you have they to did. wait. You have to wait until that side judge tells you to go. They've had a lot of work tonight, those guys. They've had a lot of, lot of up and down the field and then uh, a lot yep. of measurements. And Bit of a reprieve here for the Tigers. The penalties, yeah, you got to. Uh, Frontier not generally penalized an awful lot, but no, tonight, see, they, Sean, I gotta, I'm going to interrupt you here, yeah. sorry. Uh, the ball was on the 47-yard line. They're trying to remember where the ball was because the penalty will not give them an automatic first down here. But they had it run. They have, they have the line of, which way are we going here? Yeah, it's, uh, the see. line of scrimmage, yeah, they've, uh, and what they're saying, 43, that, well, wait a minute. Well, it's a 10-yard penalty. Yeah. So let's see where they're going to mark the ball. Yeah, now they have it right. The, the line is, it was the 47. Now they're going to step off. Yeah, five penalties, 45 yards. No, I wish I could talk to the officials. That that was the line where the where the first stick is, not where the down marker is. Where the first stick is, that is where the line of scrimmage was on that last play. Right, where that is, it would give them a first down with the ten yard. Either way, they'd get the first down on the ten yard penalty. Now they got it right. There you okay. go. Okay. Ball will be brought down to the forty yard line, mm. just outside the forty of frontier, and a Hadley. first and ten for South Hadley. So six oh three to play. They're down by two scores. We're not quite at the finish line yet, but South Hadley still needs to try to strike pretty quickly. Well, I'm not going to lie, Bobby C's in Florida asking me for updates. I texted him when it was 28-7 and said it's over, but I might have to text him back here real quick. Pratt out of the shotgun. Quick throw, left side. It is caught by a carry. And uh, Borowski, rather. I'm mixing up the two hunters, Hunter Carey, Hunter Borowski. That was Borowski. Quick gain of about five or six on the left side, second down, and he got out of bounds. That'll stop the clock with 551. Second down and four. Yeah, Pratt was a slow start, but completed his last three passes now. So three of nine passing. I think about seven yards, 31 yards. He did throw the pick. Second down and four. Frontier 35 yard line. This is getting very interesting here, folks. Very interesting. I hope you didn't turn your radio off at around eight o'clock when you thought it was over. 
Back to pass is Pratt. Flushed out of the pocket, rolling right side, and then throws it away late before he got dumped. He was out of the pocket. Pass is incomplete. Yep, good. Smart play by uh, Pratt. Third down and four coming up. There was just nowhere really to throw that ball, and he didn't try to force it in. Still third down, still plenty of time, really. 5.43 to play here in the ball game. 28-14 lead for the Red Hawks right now. After the game, our post-game show, and then back to our Greenfield Studios for a Friday night with Leah. Here on Bear Country. No game tomorrow. We have three straight weekends, a Friday and Saturday. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I'm going to play golf. Well, I'm going to pumpkin, uh, pumpkin smash up golf. at Hager. Oh, you guys are smashing pumpkins? We're smashing pumpkins yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, that's fun. And the pitch on the left side goes to carry and another great defensive play by Frontier. And Garrett DeForest, we have called his name several times. It'll be fourth down and five. Yeah, Carey's going to lose about a yard on that. So 15 yards for him on four carries. It's Hunter Carey, the sophomore. But uh, this is the play of the game right now, obviously, for South Hadley. I mean, they cannot give the ball back to Frontier. They converted on fourth down earlier this drive, and they need to do it again to try to keep this game alive. Clock in motion, five. 07 to play, Frontier by 14. Update from Turner's Falls, 27-14. Turner's Falls, seven minutes to play over there. Uh, Turner's Falls will go above 500 now yeah, with that. that apparent victory, although they're not oh, quite done yet. All right, fourth down, back to pass, throwing deep ball right side, incomplete. He was looking to get it all the way down there to Larrier. They turn it over on downs, and with 4.49 to play, Frontier edging closer to a date in the Western Mass Final. I don't know if Larrier was running the right pattern. He was trying to you know, press to the inside, and then the ball was thrown to the outside, and the ball had already gone by Larrier before he even turned to look for it. So either he was running the wrong pattern or the quarterback threw the ball to the wrong spot. But either way, that was going to be incomplete right out of the hand. Four minutes, 49 seconds to play. Frontier 28 and South Hadley 14. Tigers with one offensive touchdown tonight. Aaron Landry on first down and he's gonna get dropped down for a loss. Again, South Hadley's really come up big. Now they have four TOs to work with. They're not gonna start burning them yet. They would like to try to get the ball. Well, they need Frontier to go four and out here. Yeah, they absolutely. Oh, three and out. And then they may wanna use a timeout somewhere in here too. Let's see. Probably right after this play, if they can keep Frontier from getting a big game. Be third and long, take your time out there. All right, Dave Reno, be ready. We're gonna take a quick cue if, if a timeout is called. 4-14 to play, second down and 12. And that's going to go for no gain. They are going to call the timeout, as you mentioned, Sean. We'll take the break. 4-0-4 to play. Carquest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. Frontier leads it 28-14. Hunter Carey on the stop for the Tigers. Timeout called by South Hadley. Fourth and 12 for the Red Hawks. Steve Worley to punt for Frontier. Hunter Carey back to receive for the Tigers. Carey from the 32. Oh, what a block. Okay, so Frontier kicking after a fourth down. They kick it to Carey. He's still going. He's still on his feet, but now he's going to lose yardage and loses his footing back at the 30-yard line. He got a great block, but able to do anything with it. And he took a look at the end of that play. First and 10 for South Hadley. Yeah, you can't and the ball is at their own 30-yard line. Can't blame him for trying. I mean, South Hadley's going to need a big play here. And he certainly looked as though he could make one. He kept spinning around and, and bouncing off the guys. And finally, ended up running backwards. And the ball is at the 30-yard line. So 3.39 to go here, down by two scores with the ball. They're going to have to pass on virtually every down. And the problem is the winds. And the wind has always been a factor tonight. But it's blowing harder now than it has in any point. 
They're going to have uh, receivers to either side. They'll go shotgun, of course, as they have all night. Pratt is back to pass with plenty of time. Throws on the left side looking for Dawson. Incomplete. Coverage provided down there by Freeman. A little bit underthrown. It'll be second down. Yeah, and you can see where the receiver was trying to come back to the ball and not able to get to it. So it'll be a second and ten here. And as you said, I expect to see them throwing the ball pretty much on every down. Now three of 12 is Pratt, 31 yards. And McMillian... Uh, McMillan now is uh, replacing Freeman who came off after falling down on coverage so got a little ding but number 42 looks like he'll be okay but he'll take at least this playoff second down and 10 from the 30 quick swing pass on the right side it is caught Carey are on the right sideline a gain of about four did not get out of bounds by the way That's complete. Clock continues, 3.22 to play. Yeah, not a good play there. Again, try to swing pass and spring a guy to the outside, but three minutes, three clock going, this is a short game. Yeah, you gotta get out of bounds. And you gotta get out of bounds. Yeah, not yeah. a lot of yardage there. I mean, there's always that potential you can spring it, but the important thing is to get out of bounds, because they're losing about 20 seconds here by not getting out of bounds. Out of the gun. Third and seven. Quick pass on the right side. What a great catch, reaching behind and catching it for the first down. That was Carey. Hunter makes a really nice reception. We have seen some really quality plays tonight. A big sack and now a big pass, Ken, that catch. They're gonna, go, they're gonna go no huddle here, Sean. Yep. First down and 10 from the 49. Back to pass, throws it on the right side. That is caught. Another first down inside the 40. They'll stop the clock to set the chain. 2.42 to play, here comes the train. If the Tigers can score quickly here. Well, they're moving it quickly, we're gonna call a timeout, let's see. They will call a timeout, we'll take the break as well. 2.40 to play, Carquest to Greenfield, South Deerfield and Shelvin scoreboard. Frontier, 28-14, back after this. Shotgun formation, a flag down, we're gonna wave this playoff. It's gonna be a deep pass to carry on the right side, but that is going to go against South Hadley, illegal procedure. Five yards back from the 41, back to the 46. Seven penalties, 46 yards against them. The Red Hawks have been penalized six times for 45 yards. And 238 to play, South Hadley will step it back five yards, be first and 15 for them, but just to finish your thought before we went to break. Yeah, 28-14 now, South Hadley. Still have a couple of timeouts. Need a quick score here though. Indeed they do. They need to score quick. From the 46, first and 15. Back to pass, nicely thrown ball. Great defensive play by Hildreth. They were trying to hook up with Carey on the right side. Yeah. It'll be second and 15. Yeah, Carey was kind of backpedaling. Hildreth came up from behind. and. I don't even know, Carey saw him, felt him coming, and he was able to knock that pass away. Again, they're going no huddle here. Shotgun formation. Back to pass on second down. Throwing it on the left side, incomplete. Overthrown. Dawson, the intended receiver, it'll be third and 15. Yeah, Pratt had to get that out quickly. It was Donovan Hoffman bearing down on him, and that certainly affected the plane of the football coming out of his hand. He had to get that thing out quick. Third down, 15 yards to go from the 46. 2.30 to play in the game. Clock obviously out after that incomplete pass. Quarterback Pratt goes to head coach Taylor to get the play call here. They have a man split off on either side. Two actually to the near side left. Out of the pistol formation this time. Dawson comes in motion. He's back to pass, sets it up, screen pass, it is caught, and that is going to go to number 10. close to first down ben yardage. Watkins. Ben Watkins did get out of bounds. 2.22 to play, we'll see where they mark this down. No, not quite a first down, but a makeable fourth down here. The ball just outside the 30 yard line. Michael Pratt, five for, five for 18 now. That's his 18th pass attempt. After not throwing a pass last week in the win, 18 of them tonight, and they needed it. They needed it late. They needed to move the ball quickly, and 
Right now, they've got to get this first down to stay alive. Fourth down and about a yard and a half. They need to get to the 31. They're at the 32 and a half right now. 2.22 to play. They trail by two scores. Well, they've made this a ball game in the second half. That's for sure. They come up quickly. Now they'll split three guys on the far side. Pratt throwing over the middle. Great catch. First down inside the 20 yard line. Carey keeps the legs going. He's down to around the 11, and a tie. the uh, clock will stop as they set the chains. So they're in the red zone now. Perfect play, perfectly thrown ball, wide open receiver. And a big first down for South Hadley. 2.13 clock is rolling though. Yep, once they got the chain set, they started the clock again. Back to pass, throwing towards the end zone on the right side. It's down there, it is caught. Dropped, dropped in the end zone. Defended down there again by Freeman. Looking to Borowski down there. It'll be second down and 10. Well, again, Michael Pratt has thrown the ball now 20 times. He's completed it six times, but there have been a bunch that could have been caught. That one right there was one of them. He hit his receiver in the back of the end zone, and that was just a flat out drop right there. Woulda, coulda, shoulda made it a one-score game here. Right now, 28-14, Frontier, two minutes exactly to play. Two receivers to the far side right, Carey and Borowski. Pratt the quarterback, shotgun. Back to pass, looking to left side, towards the end zone, it is caught, touchdown! Marcus Larrier on the receiving end, it's 28-20. Larrier pushed off on that. He came inside the defender. The ball was thrown to the back corner and Larrier just took his right arm and pushed the defender away. No the space. flag on no. the play. That was absolutely pass interference on Larrier and they did not catch it. And that is gonna be a touchdown for South Hadley. So now, 28-20, they're gonna line up to kick the extra point and make it a seven point game. South Hadley changes up on the offensive line. Mitchell to kick. Snap back. Placement down. The kick is up. And the kick is good. Timeout on the field. 156 to play. Carquest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Children's scoreboard. It's now Frontier 28, South Hadley 21. All right, a 100% chance of an onside kick happening right now. Look at the, the Red Hawks all up at the line. And you got your hands guys up there, second tier creeping up. Everybody expecting it to be a short kick. One guy deep, Landry, all there, all back there all by himself. All right, Mitchell set to kick it. He's gonna kick it about 11 yards. He tops it. It's still rolling, tipped. There. And who has it? Frontier indicates that they got it, and they did. Wow. And now, well, there's 155 to play, still two timeouts for the Tigers. So we're close to the finish line, but not quite yet. Well, and again, on, in the second half, we've seen Aaron Landry get caught in the backfield. We see Bryce Dolphus not be able to get out of the backfield, and they've just not been able to do much on offense here lately. 28-7 lead, now 28-21, and yeah, they're going to need to get a first down or else South Hadley will get the ball back. But if the Tigers do get the ball back, it'll be with very little time. So again, we'll let our studio producer Dave Reno know we're expecting a quick timeout here after the first down play. We'll take the break. No doubt. All right, Turner's Falls not in victory. Uh, Frontier not in victory formation just yet. Hildreth. Long snap count, and now he'll call a timeout, and we'll take the break. 155 to play, Frontier 28, South Hadley 21. All right, back here, the Albert Bialin Insurance broadcast booth. 155 to play, first and 10 Frontier from their own 48 yard line. They lead by seven, but they can't Take a knee just yet. First down, pitch. And going down is Worthley for a loss and a quick timeout is called. I haven't called the timeout yet. Second down. Worthley looking for a horse collar on that. He was tackled from behind and dragged down. No flag there. And no timeout. Still two on the scoreboard left for 
the South Hadley Tigers. Yeah, again, it, it, that's um, actually, I think, yeah, they have two time. All right, well, again, I guess you're going to let them run this play clock down in this sec long second down play. Well, you've only got the two timeouts, so you're going to have to use them, let them run this play, and then take the timeout. Yeah. All right. Second down and 12, ball back at the 45 yard line. Hildreth is going to take it himself. Flag is down on the frontier backfield. He gets back to the original line of scrimmage. And this play is going to be whistled. This is interesting because I believe the flag is against the Red Hawks, but if they decline it, it's going to be third down. If they yeah. take the penalty, it's still second down. Yeah, don't take the penalty. No, I don't because you don't want to give them the extra down and the yeah. extra. Yeah, the, the I can time. see the coaches. They're they, on the far side. They are going to decline that. Yeah, there is a hole. Frontier. Take the down. Decline. Absolutely. The yards don't mean anything right now. It's time. So. Take the down. Tell you what, Sean, unless Frontier breaks a run, uh, breaks a nice strong run here, I think the Tigers are going to get the ball back well, here. They got and two now, timeouts still. And who's taking it? And they're taking a timeout? Wow. They've taken it. Oh, well, we'll step aside for the break and we'll sort this out. A minute three left to play, and Frontier leads 20-21. Back after this. for Frontier on the Red Hawk 47 yard line. Third down Frontier, they go up the middle to Bryce Dobis. He takes it to midfield, stop there. And another final timeout taken by the Tigers. We'll step aside. 55.9 seconds left. Folks, South Hadley's going to get the ball back. We're back after this on Bear Country 95.3. Hunter Carey back to receive for the Tigers. Nice. The ball. The kick from Worthley down to Carey, who muffed it, and he jumps out the last second with a frontier player bearing down on him. But he's all the way back inside his 15-yard line. Uh, but you know what, Jeff? Credit South Hadley. They were left for dead. It was 28-7. They hadn't scored an offensive touchdown. Now it's 28-21. Just 46 seconds left, but South Hadley has the ball. No timeouts, though. No so timeouts. really, really passing over the middle is pretty much out. You have to pass to the outside and get out of bounds. I mean, it's the longest of long shots. They're on their own 14-yard line. They're 86 yards away from potentially tying the game. They trail by seven. They're a touchdown and a PAT kick of tying it. Credit them for putting themselves into this position. Absolutely, absolutely. They've dominated the fourth quarter. Frontier dominated most of the rest of this football game. Okay, again, they're gonna go shotgun and they need to get out of bounds on virtually any reception that they get. Back to pass. They're actually going to throw over the middle. It is caught for a first down up to the 40-yard line, or close to the 40-yard line. He goes down. 37 seconds left. They'll stop the clock to set the chain. South Hadley will probably spike the ball here. No, they might actually run a play. They will spike it right there. 32.3 seconds left. They're out at their own 35-yard line. But good poise again. They got to the line, and they took just enough time to make sure everybody was set, make sure they did that properly. Again, they run out of the shotgun, so the quarterback has not been up behind the center at all in this game. Well, Hubie, when we get down to about 15 seconds, I'll give you three words. Hook and lateral. No way. Not two weeks in a row. <laughs> I think we're going to see one. I, we may see one. That's most effective when you have to get a really big gainer. You know, when you're looking at a situation like this, running out of time and a lot of yards, the hook and lateral sometimes will come to the plates. It did last week. All right. Second and ten. 
from the 35. Deep ball right side, and it's going to be nearly caught down at the 40, incomplete. It'll be third and 10. Uh, he got the left hand off. And Dawson. Oh, yeah, he might make that catch, and that would have been down inside about the 40-yard line. Good try, but good coverage down there. 27.9 seconds left, 35-yard line of South Hadley, third down and 10. What a game this has turned out to be. 23 pass attempts by Michael Pratt. The kid did not throw a pass last yeah. week during that football game. <laughs> Complete opposite. Save, Complete opposite from last week. week. Yeah. South Hadley playing for their season. All right. Nervous, Pratt. nervous crowd. You can kind of feel <laughs> the energy in the... Uh, yeah, they're definitely uh, not feeling as good about this as they did about a half an hour ago. This is a celebration at halftime. All right, third and 10 from the 35. They are 65 yards away. Pratt throwing on the right side, incomplete. Overthrew the intended receiver, Hunter Borowski, was actually out of bounds. It'll be fourth and 10, 23 seconds exactly left. This is what they write books about, legends like these. Down by seven, 23 seconds, fourth and 10 from your own 35 yard line. Who's the legend though, the defense or the offense? Yeah, that's right. We'll find out. Who wants it more? No timeouts for South Hadley. They've got to get this first down at minimum 10 yards. And get out of bounds as well, because I don't even know if they'd be able to get up and run another play unless this develops quickly for them. All right, Pratt got his play call from his coach. Sprints towards the huddle. 35 yard line of South Hadley. Fourth down in 10, 23 seconds left. Frontier 28, South Hadley 21. Out of the shotgun, Dawson in motion, back to pass, setting up, deep ball, left side, jump ball, tip, incomplete, Frontier's going to win the game. Nice job by Hunter Carey to come back, he was double covered, and he still almost made that catch to keep South Hadley alive. There was a flag on the play, but it was an illegal man downfield, so even if that ball had been caught, it would not have counted. Frontier will take over on down. Yeah, they would have had one more shot at least, but oh, a sigh of relief from the home crowd. Even the guys coming off the field, you can just see them going, woo! 28-7 <laughs> now, 28-21, South Hadley again. Frontier dominated most of this game, but for South Hadley to do what they did here in the fourth quarter and make this thing a ball game, a lot of credit to those kids. And Hawks, yeah. will, Hawks will take a knee and they'll get ready for next week. We're not sure when they're, they're going to play. We believe they'll be playing Wakona, but we don't know that for sure. Victory formation now, finally. Hildreth takes the snap. Takes a knee, and that's it. Frontier does not have to snap the ball again. And the Frontier Red Hawks, not a lot of postseason success recently, but they get the big W on their home field here today. They win it. Final score, 28-21 over South Hadley on the car quest of Greenfield. South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard, our post-game show coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. And uh, just a tremendous performance by Mr. Garrett DeForest. Yeah, yeah, and again, just to look at the numbers in the game, we talked about Matt Hildreth early on, and, yeah, you know, he was nearly perfect. You know, again, he just completed one of his two passes. The other one could have been caught and ran the ball well, effectively, didn't make mistakes back there, as always. Aaron Landry ends up with nine carries and 80 yards. He got 50 yards on that first carry and into the end zone. So they, they bottled him up pretty good in the second half. Worthley ended up with a dozen carries, 59 yards for him. He did not find the end zone. And Bryce Dovis ended up with 10 carries for about 45 yards. He found the end zone twice. But, yeah, even with those, what we just said, uh, I don't know how many times I heard you say Garrett DeForest. I mean, that kid was just everywhere on defense, and it was the defense that won this game for Frontier. And uh, Absolutely. Give, a, give the sophomore a shirt. Not too many sophomores get those things, but uh, big game tonight, and Garrett DeForest is going to be our player of the game. Final score for the final time here on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard, the Frontier Red Hawks 28 the South Hadley Tigers, 21. For Sean Hubert and our studio producer, Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Have a great night and weekend here in Bear Country.
Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs.